blessing of your understanding. We are here gathered tonight because we believe in you. We believe in your grace. We believe in your power. We believe in your power. We And Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. Oh, yes, I do. I believe in you. Every word that left your lips, I believe. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. Lift your voices, lift your hands, and let's worship Him. The Son of God I believe in you I believe in you One more time Let's confess, let's declare That Jesus, you're the Son of God Lord Jesus, we're gathered tonight because we believe in you. When you said we would do greater works, we believed. When you said we've been lifted above thrones and dominions, we believed. When you said you will make us objects of praise, we believed. Lord, we thank you because you have made this house a place of your presence. You have made this place a portal for releasing the possibilities that are contained in you. Lord, we bless you. 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 We thank you for the testimonies, for the miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never forget to give God thanks for any and every great thing He does in your life. Learn it. No matter how little, no matter how great. Do you know the reason why some people see the hand of God and then it will take almost forever? Because we are not grateful. Are we together? We have this mindset as if God owes us everything. There is nothing I have today that God owes me. It's an act of his mercy. It's an act of his grace. In one minute, I want everyone, regardless of the overflows, those following us across the nations of the earth, I just want you to count your blessings. Leave whatever challenge you came with and say, Lord, thank you. I brought a sick child, but I thank you that I have a child. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for this great house you have so honored. Thank you for our lives. Look what you've done with us. 
Thank you, Jesus. Miracles, testimonies, the mighty acts of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for changing our lives. Thank you for the power of your word. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for the abundance of grace. The gift of righteousness. Wherewith you have caused us to reign in this territory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me teach you something. You can earn a living being grateful. You can literally earn a living being grateful. Grateful to men, grateful to God. You never hear me open my mouth and complain. Never. I've lost the ability to complain. Not, not over God. He's too faithful. If he never blesses me, I still owe him my life. You must get to a point. This grumbling, this complaint is the spirit of the devil working in people. We forget his benefits and we focus on the little things that we think he has not done. In one minute, don't be tired though. Mention it. Mention it. Lord, you brought me here safely. I'm grateful. I'm saved. I'm a child of God. I have your life within me. I don't take it for granted. welcome you tonight to our main miracle service in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate all those following us online from over. Hallelujah. Regardless of what nation, the Lord bless you, the Lord honor you. Over 45 nations of the world, we bless you, we honor you. The Lord will do you good in Jesus' name. Please greet one another and be seated. Hallelujah. It's good to be back home. I'm happy to be back. The only person who should be angry at my coming is the devil. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to bless God for Pastor Jimmy. Oh my God. I think last week was amazing. Bless you, sir. We honor you. We bless you. Is this how you honor people here? Come on now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much. You and your lovely wife. Tonight, we're going to be very, very fast. I spotted Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul, God bless you. Very, very old, great friend, man of God. The Lord bless you. Happy to see you, sir. While I was praying, preparing for this meeting, the Lord referred me back to um, a thought that he began to put in my spirit at the first miracle service, January miracle service. And the Lord asked that I repeat some of the things that he shared with me to build our faith and to prepare our hearts. And um, so that's just what I'm going to do briefly. I want us to pay attention when the word of God comes. I've taught us that the word of God does many things. Um, aside from the creative power of the word, the word of God has the key to committing God in your life. God is not committed to any life until the word of God commits him. So if the basis of your action is not the word of God. It will look spiritual. You will dissipate a lot of energy. But it will produce little or no result. I look around and I see several people. Coming from only God knows how long. And there are mothers, fathers, different people. Maybe very great and influential people. Scattered across. We thank God because he has made this place. A place of solution. A place of supernatural miracles. 
and you will never be disappointed tonight in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Proverbs chapter 13 let's start from there tonight Proverbs 13 verse 15 just to share a few things to prepare our hearts and then we'll pray Proverbs chapter 13 I want to quickly just run us through a few and please let me have our attention especially for those of us in the overflows outside a few reasons why many people especially believers experience perpetual defeat perpetual failure perpetual triumph of darkness over their lives in spite of their sincerity in spite of their godliness supposedly in spite of their passion and commitment for god what exactly is responsible for perpetual seasons of delay hardship lack of breakthrough because i understand that in a meeting like this is a miracle service not just a healing service there are people here who may not be sick but there are situations that require only the ability of god so i want you to listen very carefully proverbs 13 verse 15 i thought we have it projected i like us to read together one to read good understanding uh-huh but the way of transgressors is hard the b part again please but the way you see the word transgressor there does not just mean a sinner it means a violator a violator of a principle the bible did not say the way of transgressors is impossible he said it is hard herein lies the mystery of hardship the mystery of perpetual pain pain that makes the bible look like a lie pain that makes the testimony of jesus look like a lie we've been taught again and again that it is never all up to god and it is never all up to men when it has to do with establishing realities in this kingdom there is always a partnership a responsibility as defined by god and a responsibility that represents the trust and the commitment of men the bible says that the way of violators whether through ignorance or through the hardness of heart violators of god's principles the bible says their way is hard the lord has declared for us as a people as a family of faith that this is our year of triumph and um, we must explore once again the keys that are responsible for speed joy perpetual victory the bible says now thanks be to god who causes us always not sometimes always to triumph a great man of god said challenges are not unusual but when you are defeated by them then it becomes unusual are we together now number one the first reason that i put down here that is responsible for the pain the tragedies the failure the defeat of many people families territories is the conscious exclusion of jesus in their lives and affairs the conscious exclusion where you exclude the lord jesus his purposes everything that has to do with god the conscious exclusion of jesus christ in their lives and affairs john 15 from verse 4 to 5 john 15 from verse 4 to 5 jesus said something he said um, please give it to us very quickly john chapter 15 from verse 4 to 5 he says abide in me read it people of god want to read abide in me and i in you uh-huh it says as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except hold on the branch as powerful as the branch is does not sustain capacity to bear fruit in itself except 
it abided in the vine then he says no more in that similitude no more can ye except you abide in me verse 5 he says i am the vine no confusion you are not the vine i am the vine ye are the branches then he says he that abided in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit and here is the mystery for without me outside of me apart from me ignoring me claiming i am not important he says ye can do nothing he didn't say ye can do little things outside of me ye can do are we together now the first reason believe me brothers and sisters behind the untold hardship of people is their conscious exclusion of jesus christ his purposes and his ways dr anointed god bless you good to see you thank you so much we honor you thank you hallelujah are we together now jesus christ you know we live in a society that um i'm not against intellectual development we have series and series upon um on those thoughts i'm not against wisdom education strategies and all of that but you see there is this fallacy that our generation has is called the over dependence over dependence on intellectualism over dependence on the wisdom of men the strategy of men we claim as though being educated is a substitute to acknowledge and acknowledging and working with jesus christ and the bible says for without me ye can do nothing over dependence on our abilities i can pay the rent i'm, I'm educated i'm not i'm not daft i can do this i can do that and every time you claim to be able to live without christ and what is civilization we have represented jesus to be a nuisance to civilization every time you mention him every time you say anything people feel look you are falling our hands this is an intellectual gathering this is a gathering of smart people this is a gathering of business minds this is a gathering of people who know what they are doing they are don't don't spiritualize don't bring us we are not in church you hear them jesus said for without me regardless of the platform you ignore me and ignore what i represent in your life he says you can do nothing are we together over dependence on everything oh i think i i know so so and so in the senate i know so so, so and so in the national assembly i am connected to the presidency i am this and that the over dependence on our abilities our human strength and then of course pride we are still talking on point one self glorification what is pride pride is the refusal to acknowledge God and his might and his ability as being the reason for your result the ashamedness to acknowledge Christ the ashamedness you know we live in a time and a generation where we as humans we love the uploads of men and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that sometimes we are so carried away it embarrasses us to ever let men know that Jesus is the doer of this so we love it being said it was Joshua Selman he spoke a word and someone got 320 305 he spoke a word and a dead person came back to life we love those kinds of things it is in our human nature to want praise so much to the extent that if it means kicking god out as a nuisance to our space of relevance we will gladly do it the bible says in proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 this is what it says trust in the lord listen with all not some your heart it says and to lean not on your own understanding then it says in all your ways acknowledge him 
and she shall direct your path right the next verse says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the lord and turn away from evil pride this is a big mistake that we make as preachers it's a big mistake that we make as leaders business people parents this is my child i train this child by my wisdom you can't embarrass me ah. listen let me tell you something master the art of letting men see god in your life i show you a secret to unstoppable lifting and i the bible says if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw men i will draw men when your heart is stayed on letting men see christ at work in you then john 17 becomes your testimony it says the hour has come glorify your son to the end that your son may bring glory to you it does not cost god anything to lift men but the issue here is our pride apostle joshua selman see and all those things kill us and destroy our lives forever in my life and in this ministry he remains a doer we honor him unashamedly it is the foolishness that has brought us thus far the foolishness of acknowledging him all the time you know every time i sit and i hear the testimonies sometimes you just see me keep quiet and um, i can see people looking at me putting their hands on their heads and i'm saying you are looking at the wrong person the only reason why i'm the only one you can see is because you cannot see him and i've taught you like a faithful bride when when come wife when i take good care of this woman and you clap for her a wise woman will point back to her husband is that true yeah remember wives submit right so when the invisible husband in partnership with him you are producing supernatural results but the world cannot see him so it is you they see as a wife and then they thank you and then a wise wife will transfer it back because the only reason why Vashti was queen was because she married the king when she forgot and decided to carve out a niche for herself she was sent out and a villager called Hadassah a type of the church came in her innocence and instantly became queen and forever she acknowledged him she lived to serve the king in that palace and she served the victory of the nation of Israel acknowledgement several people find it a, an embarrassment to say lord you are the doer sometimes we say it religiously but when they look at you they know you don't mean it what you just mean is okay god so you it doesn't look like i'm fighting you i acknowledge him take him out of my life i'm not ashamed it's, it's a state i have maintained for a very long time Hallelujah. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all. Seeking you as a precious joy. Not to give up, I'll be a friend. You are my own. Hallelujah. Pride. Pride. Number two, quickly. The second reason why people do not experience the outstretched arm of God in their lives is ignorance and disobedience to God's principles. Please listen very carefully. Ignorance and disobedience to God's principles. The systems of the kingdom. 
The kingdom of God and the dealings of God with man is broken into systems. Listen carefully. The system of God's dealing with man represents his modus operandi as far as certain outcomes are desired. Are we together now? It is part of the assignment of every leader in partnership, every pastor, businessman, career person, every believer in partnership with the Holy Spirit to explore the systems of God and understand the keys that he has apportioned to be responsible for certain outcomes in our lives. Please listen. Not every key opens every door. That you are holding keys does not mean the door you want will open. No. We have been given the keys of the kingdom. And we must know the systems that are responsible. Please pay attention to what I'm telling you. There is a system in the dealing of God with men that is responsible for longevity. There is a system that is responsible for the impartation of the life and the power of God in a man. There is a system that is responsible for wealth and prosperity. There is a system that is responsible for favor. There is a system that is responsible for defense. That when men and the powers of darkness rise against a man there is a system a man can operate with god that can build a shield of resistance mysteriously you walk out of things that should have killed you as though the devil does not exist it is not luck everybody says systems if you do not understand the systems of god give us ephesians chapter 4 please Ephesians chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible says having their understanding darkened. Listen carefully. Having their understanding darkened. Then it says being alienated. Taken apart from the life of God. Through the ignorance that is in them. When the understanding of a man is darkened. You can be alienated from the reality of God's life. So you will read it in the Bible. You will even confess it. But your life will be barren of that experience. Because there is a system. Are we together? On earth, there is a system by which men grow. Correct? From a baby to an adult, there is a system. There is a system with which a woman is able to take child and give birth. There is even a time range for it. So it is in the realm of the spirit. The ignorance of believers. Not just in knowing what we want. We all know what we want. But the keys of the kingdom. Designed by the wisdom of God to deliver that result. So what we do in the body of Christ largely is guesswork. We apply at random several scriptural principles. That we hope will address our issues of concern. And the danger is if and when they do address that issue, we cannot reproduce it because we do not know which one exactly produced the result. So we call the blood of Jesus. We invoke the name of Jesus. We call the word. We sow seeds. We take communion. And then we do all kinds of things. We pray and then we get the result. Now the danger is we cannot teach another person. There is an exact system that is responsible for what you and I are looking for tonight hmm. are we together you heard the testimonies of some of our loved ones here look at this kind of results there is something responsible the bible says they are life to those who find them and then health to their flesh it didn't say they are life to christians no no that understanding that because it is in the Bible your life should experience it is deception and fallacy between thus saith the Lord and it came to pass is your participation engaging the systems of God accordingly that's what is responsible for the delivery of the outcomes in our lives I've said it here again Satan is never afraid of the word read your Bible there is no place in scripture that records that Satan is afraid of the word. Satan is afraid of your understanding. Your partnership with the word is the dread of Satan. In fact, the Bible says, speaking about the sower and the soils, it says that Satan cometh immediately and takes the word and the word does not react on him because the word in itself is barren 
and unprofitable it takes the faith and the understanding of the believers to give life to the word to now be able to speak the word of god is a bank of potentials activated through faith and your faith is the summation of your understanding proven by your steps first your understanding then your steps your understanding is evidence of your conviction are we together now I've spent my life studying the systems of the kingdom and I still do Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 please help us let's rush tonight Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 15 it says the labor of the foolish where yet how many it didn't say where is one from the group every one of them why because he knoweth not how to go to the city he didn't say there is no road he knoweth not 60 verse 1 of isaiah says arise shine amplified says arise from the frustration and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you he says rise to a new light arise shine why for your light is come not that your light is available it's always been there but the day it comes to you it has capacity to cause you to arise please hear me believers god is not a charmer he's not a magician there is always an engaging of the systems of god fear is a product of ignorance or inaccurate understanding of the systems of god the antidote to fear is not just casting the spirit away there is the spirit of fear but there is there are activities that results to fear naturally an understanding of the systems of God so this is what we desire but do we know do you know for instance believers that in the economy of God with men there is a way that men can receive bad things that leave them we call it restoration we all know and we all agree that restoration is a possibility in God's dealings with man but do you understand the system there is an exact spiritual system that produces that outcome are we together now yes there is a system scattered in scripture that distinguishes men and lifts them up listen let me tell you something the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles in making the outcome happen the word of God is only profitable when we understand our roles the summation of what the Bible calls faith is first understanding this is where the challenge is our understanding being faulty being incomplete being unfruitful so it is incapable of delivering the results that we expect and therein lies the power of darkness leveraging on our inaccurate understanding of the systems of God and then we mock God there are people who have come with several situations tonight and within seconds we've not been away for over a week I mean it's, it's been a tour ride right from the west down to the south and here and it's been an amazing time watching all the miracles and the things that have happened you know I have wondered wondered just like those who receive I have wondered at how easy it is to get God's hand having the readiness to judge all disobedience if and only when our obedience is complete ignorance truly empowers Satan in fact there is a class of the demonic care that called rulers of darkness their dominion is activated whenever there is no light we must contend for accurate understanding there is no one in school to sponsor me I am alone so you say but there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where he can raise strangers he said it strangers will feed your flock keep the promise but find out the system that commits God to making it an epistle in your life here and now otherwise we will continue to mock ourselves again and again God said it but we may never see it in our lives someone listening to me here inside outside across the nations of the earth will need to realize that this is the key 
is not God it is our lack of participation to produce the outcomes that we desire say amen this is the second reason why many people remain perpetually in failure and defeat let me give us something Isaiah 31 it's a scripture that blessed me so much and I think it will bless you verse 1 to 3 those who depend on the strength of men the strategies of men listen to what the Bible says woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many it says and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not to the Holy One of Israel neither seek their God let's go to verse 3 verse 3 please it says now these Egyptians that you claim are so formidable they are men no? are we together now it says and not God and their horses are flesh there is a limit to which they can defend you it says and not spirit when the Lord shall stretch out his hands listen both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped now this is an ancient language shall also fall down two of them shall do what if God does not help you and your destiny helper together so it is never from men I've taught you this all every good and perfect gift comes from above through men to you from God through men to you so your prayer is not to men the God of all flesh that can manipulate things according to his will from God through men to you when it becomes from men that begins the cycle of tragedy from your life anything God cannot give me let no man claim he can give me I know we say yes sir but we don't believe it it shows on our our desperation calling the attention of men you are my last hope Sam if you don't pick my call I'm dead that's a man who does not know God because he said if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up things that should not do that God is only limited by how much we trust him his wisdom is multifaceted has the capacity to invent new formulas of communicating your breakthrough to you your assignment is to trust him enough who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords never never allow your appetite or your perception of the ability of men and human strategies to help you to outrun and push away the fact that you know God is faithful I know you're a businessman and I've read every business book but by and large is only a channel every good and perfect gift comes from above I know you went to school but let me tell you something if God does not speak a word on your behalf your certificate can be a piece of paper on this earth as sad as the recession is it has brought so many arrogant people to their knees men who think God is limited by their perceptions and whatever it is no God is mighty. He's not scratching his head in heaven wondering what to do with believers. His wisdom is so infinite it reinvents itself to manipulate answers to men regardless of the circumstances. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now time's The next time a man tells you 
I will not help you. You are in trouble. Thank him. Don't cry. Go back to God and say, Lord, how many men did you say are on earth? Six billion. Let your wisdom, your infinite wisdom that can raise up stones. Stones. That can raise up stones to praise and glorify him. I will never trust the strategy of men above God. I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish. That a man comes and says, look, Ejimi, tomorrow I'm going to change your life. Just because you have five billion in your account, that's a joke. Is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning? Listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not teaching you dishonor. Remember, I've taught you the gift of men. I'm showing you the depravity, the falsehood, the waste of time that is committed in making men God. This God is a mighty God. Your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity. Pressure on his integrity. That's what brought some of you here from so far. You have put pressure on his integrity. I assure you he will not disappoint you. Hallelujah. All through scripture, the Bible is full of God's promises. And then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy as a proof of their faith in God. God cannot assume you trust him. So he creates a condition so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you. It would be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Ejimi, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he's thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Ejimi, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. You're picking the water is proof that one, you are thirsty, but number two, that you believe I'm not a liar. Now, if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you, it, you, have, you have obeyed, you have put pressure on my own integrity and so I come in and I tell him no, I instructed him. He's acting based on his trust in me. He's not acting based on rebellion. The problem is never the devil. The problem is our fear alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them number three quickly the third reason why people experience failure defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions demonic oppressions first john chapter 5 verse 19 demonic oppressions we live in a world that is full of demonic activities and the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints. It says, and we know that we are of God. Read on. And how many? Not Nigeria. The whole world does what? Lieth in wickedness. Like you say, my child is lying on a carpet. The whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness. The condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman. The moment you arrive here, that's all. Are we together now? You know, several people say, who did I offend that all this trouble is in? All those things are, they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain. The whole world lieth in wickedness. The moment Jesus was born as a baby, all of a sudden, when a star came at the east, Herod, the spirit of the Antichrist, began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus. Even in heaven, there was war. He said, There was war in heaven. A woman, I saw a mystery in heaven. A woman was about to give birth to a child, and a dragon came and stood, waiting to eat the child. And the Bible says, The earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place. Hear me, brothers and sisters. The Bible says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. It tells you the location. In it takes faith and the operation of God's word for it to be settled in your life. 
it is settled in heaven hence the dexterity and the order in heaven but on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God and the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 please give it to us verse 12 Ephesians 6 and then verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence that message has bled so many people I was talking with my mother Jimmy today and uh, my mother almost made me cry and she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time being angry with men fighting men because every man every man is just is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit you have to know this it is never about your in-law it is never about your son it is never about your daughter no no wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love there is a revelation that sponsors love so even if people speak against you you know that they are not speaking of their own Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross he said Satan get thee behind me and he said Peter Satan desired Peter said which Satan we came here together Satan desired to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren because he will look for them too are we together he says but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock God here's a revelation God gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter Satan is writing to God he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true are we together now so when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me it's not about you Satan does not even care he is trying to use men the highest of God's creation to make a statement to the heavens that bowing down you did not do I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me and so when God finds a witness men and women who represent the systems of God who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men watch this so this lady come darling this lady has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from Satan it is never about the cancer Satan does not care he's he's contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this God begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply listen every time hear me every time God heals a man it was not that night he planned to heal the man he had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace the unction level it takes to produce that miracle and when two of them collide there must be a miracle I've taught you something listen oh let me not go ahead of myself I'm enjoying myself here very seriously listen this lady cancer now I've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but I mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to God Lord I love you I love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, I'm advising you all this your Jesus thing me too I'm a Christian I gave my life to Christ before you were born I'm only telling you this what is there to just go and carry one goat I can even give you half of the money you see it is a statement Satan uses men 
There are situations, it's like the pen. He writes a letter to heaven. Watch the ones you claim you died for. Barren of your faithfulness, yet you study from scripture. I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see back for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life. 25 people immediately. 25 people because a dead body came back to life. You can't deny that. Are we together? That's a statement. Brothers and sisters, tonight, my father will write another statement. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. See, God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. Opening. That's the God we serve. So when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed, that's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb, my benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men. Sometimes, you see, in his wisdom, he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge. Then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says, Satan, how about this? When you understand this, hear me, you will passionately pursue the presence and the power of God not for fame you are seeking to give God space there is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers they mock God in our lives are we together this is what happens because it's difficult brothers and sisters we are humans when your life has a track record of perpetual failure it will test your faith and that's when satan comes and tries to say where is your god you are 39 years as a lady you have loved god all your life no marriage and i'm here believing my life anyhow i'm still married but another man see wants to add another marriage to me look at two of us brothers and sisters they are not speaking on their own it's a letter So it is good to give God thanks in that situation. But it's best to give God thanks in victory. Are we together? Yeah. Thank you. Demonic forces. They exist. They are real. And they have made nonsense. First Thessalonians 2.18. Please let's hurry up. First Thessalonians 2.18. The apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very very profound i want us to read together ready one to read wherefore we would have come to you even i your breakthrough but what happened help me please once and again your breakthrough would have come to you your prayers answered already but satan hindered us satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God. The last reason, very quickly, and then we'll pray. 
why do people experience limitations in their lives they trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment this is the last reason the last reason i've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat they trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 we celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place not just the ministry of the Spirit as you know we are on a series the Holy Spirit he said finally my brethren haven't told you all these other things finally my brethren be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord and in the power of his the word might there means his resources his resources the power that comes with his resources there are arsenals there are mysteries there are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God and the Bible says we should be strong in that the power our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom are we together now there are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again Psalm 66 verse 3 Psalm 66 verse 3 let's read one to go say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways help me please through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves brothers and sisters it takes power to reign in this kingdom it takes power to reign in this wicked world it will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper it takes power it's more it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world are you going to bribe no i will stand in for truth that means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades are you from so 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 state no i'm not no you are not qualified for this position human sentiments it takes power to defy the wickedness of men takes power hallelujah takes power takes power to build a ministry much more than wisdom it takes the ability of god it says rabbi john 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man nicodemus seeing the mighty works of jesus christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the anointing of the holy spirit is god's authorization upon a man to represent him god's authorization the anointing of the holy spirit is god's ability listen the capacity to produce god's result god's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace we trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God and since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry I do not need the anointing no brothers and sisters hear me the anointing the anointing I've said it again I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing a thriving ministry and a struggling one the anointing a thriving career and a struggling one the anointing the anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now don't trivialize it don't say it is unnecessary no the anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer it truly is an advantage I think it was the last set of school of ministry students I was teaching them when we we're doing pneumatology I was teaching them about the anointing and I said this our wicked world people ask you who is your father 
He's an iron bender. Who is your mother? She sells a car somewhere in the road. No, you cannot rise. We are victims of the wickedness, the sentiments, the ethno-religious biases of men. In a world where people want you to bring something, you need the advantage, not an advantage. Brothers and sisters, the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody. The anointing. Others may get there because of their connections. Others may get there because uncle so 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 went. And once you are there, they ask you, how did you come? And then you laugh. God's ability. God's ability. is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. Working in me, it's working in me. That will be your testimony. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. Working in me. The anointing will always produce supernatural results. You've heard me say it. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in our eyes. If it is a man's doing, it is natural and logical. But brothers and sisters, when your result defies the natural progression, there is another agency other than you. When your results in any area of life, listen, they called Jesus. They said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub. He said, if I use Beelzebub, the prince of demons, by whom do your fathers? Their fathers were casting out devils. They fraternized with the realm of the spirit, accessed powers higher than a human power, and were producing results. That statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know. Yes. In this day and age, brothers and sisters, the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes. You don't just tell somebody be healed. That's arrogance without the anointing. Now, let me show you something. I've taught you this again and again, but I feel like doing it. Let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me, please. Look at this. Because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing. I want you to learn this, please. By the grace of God and by the privilege of His grace, I can tell you I understand the workings of the anointing. I want you to pay attention and listen closely. I may not boast of any other thing, but I can tell you I understand how this thing works. Listen, the anointing works like money. Watch this. If I give you, Ejimi, 1,000 Naira, do you know that there are many things this can buy? 1,000 Naira can buy this, but 1,000 Naira cannot buy a car. Are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1,000 it is good that you have 1,000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say I'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable I thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing God's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results. That's the anointing. Listen, if I try to lift this, it doesn't mean I don't have energy. It means the energy dissipated per unit time is small. So I need another agency to assist me. Is that true, believers? This is how it is. So it is not that the name of Jesus is there, it's not working. It is not that the anointing is not working. The situation that you are confronted with, this is why grace and peace is multiplied. Because there are situations that defy that current level. So he says, grace and peace be multiplied to you. Why is it multiplied? How God anointed Jesus, Acts 10.30. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve 
most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if Dangote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him because it is within his capacity are we together if koinonia decides to give everybody here one one million we'll have a problem somewhere correct not because we don't have money it is the limit of our capacity so it's not when when this guy has a problem it's like a shop there is a dimension of anointing required to solve it so when you come to help him it's not just that you laid hands he may even fall down but the money is short what do you need more 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 of the same thing not more of a different thing more of what the same thing so Benihin can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair you see that the anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God when you are not heavily anointed you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result but watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes God look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that God produces we still remain in the secret place because there is more brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if I ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of God gets up here called Joshua Selman I would be a wicked man if I have not stayed with God sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the Holy Spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God it's like a television that is not well tuned it will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television and that's when you watch the artistry of those people the anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God hallelujah I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great I tell you you ask the Lord my work with God is as if I don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that I'm working with God and I seek to get I have seen them in dreams and visions and I did not see this current level we are trusting God for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely 
lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow no. so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man i welcome you tonight to this place where god has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet oh, oh, oh. Oh. I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart number one I like you to insist and say Lord I release my faith there is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back go ahead and pray prophesy declare it I wave every captivity goodbye Jesus is Lord now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty Hala prakato sete katapanda shabrakada bala. Shikiti paratos kapratas kalabasya. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. Dera na na, na na na, shela na. Shikada bala kataprakato shikiti. Shibres kete shalabanda katai. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are 
holy, you are holy. Ta da da, ta da da da, ta da da. One last prayer point. Father, take me to a new dimension. There is always more. Lift your voice and pray. Take me to a new dimension. Take me to a new dimension. are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina Ka Wiabo Sarkin Salama Nina Ka Wiabo never be the same I want to pray for you listen I want you to trust God please hear me especially for the visitors here I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny you have to believe that they will live now are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight and he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit. And I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight. Bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now. At the count of three. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord God whose I am. Right now, at the count of three, I release that grace. I command every devil, 
standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough I command that you leave right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus one two three go now go now bring them out shake it take a tabada inside and outside that fire of the Holy Ghost shake it take it out bring them out right now in the name of Jesus my God I see deliverances happening to people by the spirit of the living God deliverances happening to people right now right now right now bring them out please in the name of Jesus outside overflow one I see a ministry of angels strong ministry of angels bring them out please I come in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I establish victory victory I command it break through every force of darkness defying the word of the Lord I bless the word of God upon your life right now Shaparoto Sogete Balakata Hallelujah Lift your hands my God I still see these breakthroughs I'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit Listen I'm seeing at least 17 people 17 people I'm going to pray And the power of God will come upon you Strange doors opening right now in the name of Jesus I declare by the count of three One, two, three Open now Open now I command it I declare it now Now open doors By the spirit of God Open doors Open doors Satos Seketa My God doors opening Over lives opening Over destinies opening By the spirit of God By the spirit of God your hands and pray the Lord is showing me people here with strange delays you love God but strange delays I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit and this is not from darkness it will come upon you once it comes upon you know that that delay will end right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands as I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus Lord where are they men and women who have been delayed strangely right now right now right now I command that light and power that light and power ending delays now mighty in this place Mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place, you are mighty in our
I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed. Now, supernatural speed. Shebreketata. Run like Elijah. I command it. I decree it. In the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now, and I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys, listen, keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies. You will help me shout that name Jesus again. I see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of God. Now Lord, I pray that even as you have shown me, whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing, I decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now. Are you ready? At the count of three. Get ready now, my God, my God, my God. One, two, three. Take this kiss. Take this kiss. So break your tail. And the people say, Holy, 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 Holy. Hallelujah. Hmm. I will pray for you, but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do. I've told you. Many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state. It's a sign and wonder. You see, these things, they are operations of the Spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now. I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on South South, South South, that entire region. Now, now, all those who come from that region, South South, South South, a miracle. Ending captivities by the Spirit of the Living God. Holy, 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 there is somebody in overflow too. You are holding a picture. You are holding photos. Please come. Overflow too by the roadside. Let the person come. Let the person come quickly. You are holding a picture. The Lord is showing me someone. Please let, 
let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that come holy holy don't worry mama i'm going to pray for you where is your daughter ma no mic i'm looking at you hold on is this her i'm looking at you and the holy spirit is taking me and i'm in kano where is she she's at kano where is she that's what i'm saying she's at kano and the lord why 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 are you holding her picture is she up there up to now she have never got get married uh -uh. and this, this is, day she's sick this is what i'm saying this is what god wants to destroy because i'm seeing her in kano and you are standing in for her yes i'm supposed to pray for those outside but i saw this and the lord is saying i should minister to you go and tell her that the lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from Mina, niger state niger state yes, thank the lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming and the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. After this. Hold my hand, sir. But the Lord is going to, I'm seeing you have serious problem with finances. Very serious. You are not a lazy man. Even you, you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble. But I want to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should release you from this. Hold my hand, sir. I bring you life in the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back and return with a strange. This man's life will change like day and night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please come. I don't know this woman, but I'm asked to pray for you. I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this. You are a woman of prayer. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Look at me, man. You love God sincerely, but many things are going around. They are scattered in your life. And you have been asking, can God come? Can God step in? Even when you were there, you were praying that prayer. I heard you praying and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you rest today. He's giving you supernatural rest. Madam, please stand up. Please stand up, man. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? It's from Sabongari. You are coming. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, your life will turn around and that of your family. This is by the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have I prayed for you, darling? Come. In the name of Jesus, I end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I end captivity. Don't worry. I mustn't speak to you. As I lay my hands on you, I want to believe. There's someone, you are outside. Your baby is sick. Run with the person and come now. You are outside. Your baby is sick. Run with the person and come now. That is, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? I'm going to pray for you. And the Lord is going to give you peace. And the Lord is going to raise people to help you. Now, sincerely speaking, I want to be honest with you. It is not within my power to stop you from getting married. I we generally can only advise because you see, let me teach you something, especially as a pastor. There are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world. And when you are ministering sensitive things like this, um, they are listening and every territory has laws. Are we together now? Things are a bit flexible in Nigeria, but if I were in America and I'm talking to this man like this and saying, don't marry another wife, the son can go and sue me or the ministry. So this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith. Are we together, sir? It is not within my power and I have no right to judge you. I can only declare the counsel of God and pray for you. Um, this is very important. When you are speaking to people, although by the spirit, it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling god there is one more thing you want to tell me i'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true you are standing there and you are praying 
and you are saying you wish that I can call you again, there is one more issue. What is the issue? Marriage and my daughter's marriage. Your daughter's marriage. Uh, ma Mama, let's, let's pray. If that is the issue. You are a good woman. I want to pray for your daughters and God said that's not what you need. Hold it. What you need is destiny help us. Mama, as I'm looking at you now, they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired. Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. Sir. You need somebody to help you. Yes. Sir. Seriously. Yes, if sir. not, the time will come. Even what to eat will become an issue. The Lord said I should tell you, forget this issue of marriage. Hmm? The major issue is the ministry of destiny help us. Amen. Lord, send people. Amen. You see, we must pray that God will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers. It's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child, as if she never trained anybody. That's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late. Now, according to scripture, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. But sadly, being as the situation is, we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones. A woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again. I pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat. That God himself will empower you and establish you and send you help. Mama, don't cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will help you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. See me after the service, madam. In Jesus' name. Thank you. I pray for you, sir. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord change your life, change your situation right now. In the name of Jesus. You are the one with the child? Please come. We are going to pray for the sick now very quickly. What's wrong with him? He's, he's running temperature this evening. Just this evening? Yes, sir. But he has been having persistent cough. 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 Let's pray for him. Lord Jesus, I pray for this, your dear son. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now. And for you, his mother, I command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach, let it leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Please, why are they here? Mama, come. Please stand up. The Lord is visiting you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's taking away reproach and pain. Amen from Amen. your life. Amen. This is what he's saying. Please stand up. Please stand up, man. That he's rolling away reproach. You see, as God speaks to one person, he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone. It doesn't mean that we have to call you. The time will not let that happen. Are we together now? For instance, madam, are you from Kaduna? Who is from Kaduna? Uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person, a woman. There is a mama from Kaduna that I want to speak to now. This is a young lady now, a, 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 a mama, like elderly woman. There's a woman who came here from Kaduna. Not a young lady, please. I, I want to just speak to that person very quickly. Mommy, look at me. You have gone through so much pain. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, it's your children that will wipe your tears. It's your children that will wipe your tears. May the Lord raise them and may they wipe your tears. I pray for you in Jesus' name. Why is she here? You are the Deeper Life um, lady. You are, you are a member of Deeper Life. Are you sure? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I pray that you do a miracle in her life right now. Put your hand on your stomach. God is taking something away from your stomach now. I curse it. Something is leaving you now as I hold your hands. You are even surprised. Even you, you would not have known that there is something there. I'm seeing like a malignant growth, something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over now in Jesus' name. Come, my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you, but you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. 
very bad friends and I'm still seeing it again I don't know where that guy is and the Lord is asking that we pray for him again you see all these gentlemen you have to be careful it's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station hold my hands I pray for you the Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural restoration sir I pray for you you will not I don't know what is making I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest and the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure in Jesus name I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray for all of you come sir let me just make contact with you very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ Hasana Hasana we're going to pray for the sick now we have to be very fast Hasana Hassan, I'm seeing someone with the name Hassan. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hassan, whether you're inside, outside. Hassan from Kogi State. Hassan. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hassan? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration restoration the Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you in the name of Jesus may you be a benefactor of the mercy of God the mercy of the living God the mercy of the living God the mercy of the living God the mercy yes it's all right if your names are Hassanah the mercy of the living God your name too your name is Hassanah interested in what I'm seeing. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This lady, you see, she's smiling. But there is a serious case. There is a very mad, wild spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands. This lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine. Now I command that spirit. This is koinonia. I curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone now. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life. This doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. It's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people. I command in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue. This thing doesn't show on the face. So you just see people smiling. But they are victims of a lot of things. Let me pray for you, my dear. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life now. Life, come. The devil wants to bring pain to your life. Hold my hands. I command it to come to an end now. Pain, repeated cycles of tragedies. I curse it by the God of heaven. An anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now. There are three ladies. I just heard the cry of children. And there are three ladies. You are standing in for your families now. As I'm speaking, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them. Standing in for their families. Standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things this is koinonia i bring you the life and power that is in the name of jesus now this is what we're going to do please listen very carefully um you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people i wish that we had all the time but we have to work with time and um we are going to pray for the sick now. Please listen. 
whether you are inside or outside if you are trusting God listen please whether you are inside or outside aside from these particular cases if you are trusting God for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person whether you are inside or outside please don't come in at random I want you to come in I want to minister to you myself aside from that now we are going to pray for the sick overflow one please all of you should walk to the front of your projector you'll be ministered to overflow two and the ones extension of overflow four please walk to the projector stand outside overflow three walk to your projector stand outside very quickly and those inside here i want you to just walk out to me very quickly we're going to minister to people in that order there are so many people it has pleased the lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you are outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord we're going to minister to you now it will be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones those online you're yet to write do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations there are so many people inside and outside we are going to pray for the sick the lord has given us the grace he's given us the capacity there are people going through all kinds of things and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases hiv you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what i'm saying i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you are not embarrassed because i look at you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up i don't have to say more than that but you know what i'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people we'll be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um, have i told you where to go to okay so we'll would go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk it alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is uh, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Let's 
New levels. There are people God is fishing out here. New dimensions. Shebros kaparu shabradi salatush. Shebros katabrande gadego shalabradi asha. Engreto susa brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. Who can stand against our King? No one. No one. No one. It's not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me take off my shoes we are going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and I'd like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the God of heaven who answers prayers Jesus Jesus the son of the living God now arise O Lord come to your resting place upon these requests let there be mighty 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 miracles mighty miracles
hallelujah in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speedy testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of Jesus most high the son of the living God every request here I say again is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and have taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that God allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of God makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a sin and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember I told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it is is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now please lift your hands i want to pray for you oh come oh come me man and run some captivities why Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and grant some captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice for Emmanuel has come to us his israel in the name that is above all names i decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command that door be open now
Bible says, have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, he says, she shall give birth a son. I decree and declare, whatever you have been incubating for a long time, revealed to you by the spirit, but yet to manifest, there is grace for performance. And I command that you must have a manifestation now. I decree it. I declare it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Manifested blessings. Manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything, I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it. I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run, for I hear the sound of the abundance of rain and Ahab was already light years ahead of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now No delay. I command speed. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isaiah 6, he says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, For darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. It says, But upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise. Verse 3 says, Gentiles, you won't look for them again. Gentiles shall come to your light, and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising. It says, Where you have been deserted, so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare from today, every gift you have, every dream, every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded. I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth. And when he came, he sat down with David and he says, You will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus, where your strength cannot take you. Satos where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says, and I will restore to you the years 
alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it i want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taken for a prey and none say yet restore in the name of jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday i command a restoration now i command a restoration now i command Hear me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of jesus i create a space for you now in the name of the lord jesus i create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness he said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of Jesus hear me Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man he didn't say Joseph will come he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore i prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone God worried. carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results I pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results I change the result now I change the results now I change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus hallelujah this is one of my favorite blessings to people the ministry of destiny help us I discovered brothers and sisters hear me that it always flows from God through men everything money can buy relationships can buy it there are needless battles needless battles that relationships can solve the distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of God upon your life as a man of God as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east and west wherever your destiny helpers are I command them to come into your life now Hallelujah. Listen. 
I know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in Abuja it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that God can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over 100,000 per month believe me you cannot be established over 50,000 per month you are too generous to even keep that money and whilst you give God will orchestrate men but we have learned that Satan can hinder them and pray specifically for finances I want to invoke the mystery of divine supply there is such a reality like supernatural provision this ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to David in the cave of Adullam entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is in the name that is above all names I declare that between now and the next two weeks of June may they appear in your life may they appear in your life appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called I give life to that which is dying now I give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service June you will return here ten times better literally ten times better hallelujah please lift your hands I want to release something there are people here you love God I gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of God it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors who are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace it can manifest as anything wisdom strategies supernatural grace the grace for performance I want to pray for you activations are very necessary to drive people into great results I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions Shabo Sikata there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of Jesus I open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit I pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life are needed for your destiny I stretch my hands and I activate it now receive it right now I activate it now I activate it now I activate it now by the power of the Holy Spirit I release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership 
supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ but thou shall remember the Lord thy God it is he that given thee power brothers and sisters there is such a thing called the power the anointing the unction the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly it says you shall call on Aaron and his sons he said and you shall take your honor and give him honor is a mantle is transferable let me tell you this thing called honor is not about accomplishment there is a grace that makes people distinguished I pray for you from today that grace for honor I release it upon your life may you be honored at the gates of your destiny may you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward tonight may their prayers be answered hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done i pray for your family we believe in family in this place no matter how lifted you are if your family is not lifted he said as for me and my house we believe in family we pray for our children whether in the womb or born we pray i prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of god's faithfulness tonight in the name of jesus supernatural lifting for every family 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 and finally I pray for you in a way you have never seen whoever looks at your face I compel them to favor you listen the Bible says Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her for as long as you made contact with Esther and you looked at her face you were compelled by an anointing believe me I have seen this thing work in my life I prophesy to you men who have no business blessing you as they look at you I compel it from their spirit may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. 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 We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here. And he's saying, I should tell you, it will be like a dream. When in three weeks, it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks, he will change your life. Whoever this is for, I release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. 
you are going to start a business next month on the 5th and I'm seeing before 31st it has made you a millionaire in the name of Jesus I'm not motivating you I'm speaking as the spirit is giving me unction you don't believe it you will never see it never ever see it every difficulty you came here with in the name of Jesus you leave it down here and walk back free in the name of Jesus quickly in one minute everyone still standing I want to make two altar calls now very quickly the first please keep standing everybody no moving around inside outside please there are people here men and women who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by his spirit please let's keep standing to honor them and whilst you watch the power of God move the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith the family of the Lord Jesus Christ you are saying man of God if you will pray for me I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call the second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying man of God if you will lead me I will run I will run run to Jesus now these two categories of people I know there are people outside overflow one two three wherever you are please our time is gone I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain I'm going to count five wherever you are leave your seat and run now please clear the way for them one quickly quickly let's honor them as they come quickly run to Jesus now please quickly inside outside young and old quickly quickly I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back run to Jesus no turning please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters I appreciate you for this great decision you have made the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life I want to pray for you listen I don't want you to just recite this as a poem I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before Jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church I want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead I declare right now that eternal life is mine I receive it into my spirit I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again 
in the name of Jesus Christ may they never be the same again I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare a new life for you I break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of God's life in you I release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly Lord if there is anything that we have tonight it is because of you there is any reason why we are gathered in this place tonight it's because of you there is any reason why we will have testimonies tonight it's because of you Lord we give you all the praise just lift your hands and sincerely bless him from the depth of your heart. Everywhere, inside, outside, lift your hands to our maker. Mighty God, we give you all the praise. Bless his name, he will do mighty things in your life tonight. hallelujah praise the lord i believe in my spirit that tonight will be an extraordinary night i really believe with all my heart that the lord will do mighty things in our lives hallelujah the bible says he has not called the seed of jacob to seek him in vain I'd like you to know that you have not come tonight to spectate or waste your time this is not a cinema this is where God is changing lives. And no matter where you are in any of the overflows outside, mystery that brought you, till the mystery that will bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been thinking about this meeting right from this Sunday or Monday. Most times, especially in these seasons, I'm... Um, uh, personally in a very prophetic season of my life is a spiritual transition from one dimension of grace to another and um, in the last two or three months the Holy Spirit has developed a habit of speaking to me through songs he sings the next dimension to me he sings his will to me and um, most times I receive the prophetic direction for every meeting in songs. They come as new songs. They come as the songs we know all the time. And um, most times I try to communicate them the exact same way I receive them from the Spirit. I'm praying that one of the things we will receive tonight is a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Listen, listen. You can walk for God. You can do ministry for Him. But there is nothing as precious as having a relationship with God. When you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, it becomes evident. It's not about saying, I know Him. Hallelujah. If I know Ebenezer, just give time and you will know. See, when you come into true fellowship with the holy spirit there are things you will get not because of your accuracy in prayer a reward of friendship hallelujah and so the holy spirit began to sing a song in my spirit very interesting it's a song we all know but the way it came was very different and i like us to flow with it because i believe there is authority in that song there is an anointing. I believe that the anointing for tonight and the things that God will be doing is in this song 
and please i want everyone to participate hallelujah his presence is mighty in this place it says i will praise him from listen listen everlasting to everlasting i will praise him from everlasting everlasting to ever just listen i want you to learn it don't sing what you know when a prophetic atmosphere i know you know the song but it's not your version we're singing this is a song of the spirit right so i'll sing it once and you hear me and then um the worshipers will join us together i will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. That's all to the songs. Very easy. It says, from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. From everlasting. I tell you, there's authority in this song. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting. Lift your voice and say, I will praise you, Lord.
Father, tonight, move in this place in remarkable ways. Do extraordinary things in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hail Yahweh. Your life will never be the same tonight in the name of Jesus. There is authority in this place. Your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'd like you to turn to someone left and right. Just give them a big hug, handshake. You're welcome to Koinonia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is a place of encounter, it's a place of miracles. It's a place of healing. It's a place where the power and the authority of the kingdom is allowed to find full expression. And um, I just want to charge us very briefly. There are a few things that the Lord dropped in my spirit. And um, please, I'd like us to pay attention even as I just exhort us and then we'll trust the Spirit of God to move in a remarkable way in this place. In case you came here tonight casually, carelessly, religiously, especially for those of us who are coming, there are so many people outside, please make sure your heart becomes paired. I said it again, this is cinema. You don't come here to watch movies. It's where God comes to change your life and alter the course of your destiny and stay the hands of darkness over your life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I want to talk on three things uh, oh by the way I like to appreciate everyone um, it's truly an honor and a blessing a privilege to have us gather I know that you come um, to be blessed but your presence is seed of the apostle your presence is a sign that god has sent us with a message with an anointing with a mandate and we don't take for granted the sacrifices i saw people in literally everywhere their feet can find expression um, some sitting even in the gutters and all around it takes hunger and sacrifice. But I want to know that there is a God we have. And that God will surprise you tonight. In the name of Jesus. People have been in this town right from the beginning of the week. Preparing, fasting, families, groups. People have traveled from all over this nation. Risking their lives on food. You will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. There is authority to wipe your tears. But very quickly, I just want to talk on three things. Um, as we teach, the power of God is here. But I want you to pay attention because 
It's important to receive a word that will change you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters, but he could not do anything until God said. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 says, The spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. So as, as I share with us, the Holy Spirit is going to be speaking. We are here for various reasons. There are people who are here for encounters of all sorts. People are here for healing miracles. People are here for breakthroughs. Others are just here to upgrade their passion, their pursuit. People are here for direction. Others are here for revelation. What is the root cause of my challenges and so on and so forth. So it's important for us to pay attention to what God is doing. The first thing the Lord asked me to share with us is on our relationship with God. Please write it. It matters to God um, the extent of relationship we have with him. John 15 will be very fast. There's a lot to do tonight. John 15. You know, one of the, one of the very unfortunate things, especially with believers, is that um, many times we love to receive things from God on the platform of the prophetic which is important on the platform of someone else's faith which is okay but many times we frown at any process that leads us into developing intimacy listen please with the holy spirit i don't know if i've taught it here but the Holy Spirit began to teach me towards the end of last year that there are two dimensions to the operation of the power of God in a man's life. There is the dimension of God's power that is encapsulated in laws and principles. The very power of God programmed in spiritual laws and principles. So that the moment you fulfill the requirement of that principle at once power is released for performance you don't have to believe in the person of god to get that kind of result hallelujah you don't have to um be a believer the power of god that's the dimension of power witches and wizards use Devil has no power of his own. The Bible says, once have I spoken and twice have you heard that all power, not some. So I can manipulate spiritual laws and produce a result for you. Although I may not be, for instance, a child of God. The laws will work, but it's called witchcraft. Taught us because for it of God, that process must be initiated and sustained by the Holy Spirit. So even if the result is correct, but the spiritual agency that initiated it is not of God, it still leads to error and witchcraft. Are we together? But there is a higher dimension of spiritual power. It's called the reward of intimacy. Hmm. There is a higher dimension of spiritual power. As important as mysteries and principles are, I'll be talking a bit on it. You must grow past that realm. And then you get to a point where you are in so much of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. There are certain levels of spiritual power and authority that is hidden. Take me into the holy of holies. Take me in by the blood of the Lamb. Take me into the holy of holies. Take the cold, touch my lips, here I am. Hallelujah. 
intimacy. God is not a magician. He's only a native doctor who does not care whether you know his name or not. Once you come into the shrine, he says, what's your problem? He doesn't care whether you know him. The relationship is not the issue. And you say, Baba, I want to kill somebody. And he says, okay, bring a fowl, bring, a, bring goat, add coconut, add whatever. And then he says, go, it's done. You don't even know the person. In fact, you may not even know how he looks because he's not interested in relationship. But when you come to God, God shifts your hand and says, let me have your heart first. You came with your hand, but God says, leave your hand. My son, give me your heart. Especially for those who are looking for anointing and power. There is a desperation for power. Whenever you see God doing great things through a man, it's usually shocking. Because you look at the man and you're like, where, is, where are these miracles coming from? <laughs> Let me tell you. If people look at your life and they are not surprised, it's a sign that the Holy Spirit is not exalted in your life. Everything about your life should be such a shock and a mystery. That people look at koinonia, for instance, and say, what is this? It's the signature of God. You can see where man's effort ended. And you know from here there is a mystery. Hallelujah. This ministry is a mystery because of the hand of God. He says, if I by the finger of God, the finger of God. But brothers and sisters, what you see is a product of relationship. You see relationship will give you what your manipulation in prayer may not be able to give you the bible even says it takes the holy spirit for us to pray well that god is saying by my standard you don't even know how to receive from me friendship those who are pastors here of ministries inside and outside please pay attention more than power more than crowd believe me if you want the signature of the spirit upon your life focus on a relationship with god we don't like this that's why the dimension of the operation of god in our lives is limited if i begin to prophesy now and begin to speak and miracles begin to happen many of us just loosen up and you say now koinonia is on no god is not a herbalist he's not a magician what you see happening in this ministry is the same thing that happens in marriage. Are we together? When a man gets married to his wife, as a faithful bride, she becomes a partaker of his might, his authority. She bears his son name instantly. Instantly. His authority becomes her authority. Please listen. For as long as she remains a faithful bride, you may not like her, she may be a cleaner a day before, but marriage translated her. And the Bible tells us, listen, that the church, the ecclesia, is called the bride of Christ. I'm ever conscious of this fact. And the Bible says, husbands, love your wives. Love your wives unto death so there is the love of god i i am so this is my confidence that he loves me and he will back everything that represents himself in my life the first message for us tonight is that it's time to really be serious about our relationship with god god is not a herbalist he's not a magician there are people who can be praying and shouting using jesus as if he's a genie you know how you use a charm? You just strike it and do certain things. Look at what Jesus did. Look at his relationship with the Father. When he came, he said, Father, thank you at the grave of Lazarus because I know you always hear me. In fact, he was even embarrassed for just saying thank you aloud because to him it sounded like he was communicating unbelief. And he had to explain himself. I said, no, 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 Father, don't think I don't believe you. I did it for their sake. We know what we do in the secret. Do you have a testament in your life that is a reward of the secret place? That when men look at you, they know that there is a rich, healthy, current relationship with the Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. John 15 verse 1. Let's read very quickly the first seven verses. I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Listen to every branch in me that beareth not fruit. He taketh away. The word take away there is, a, is an incorrect rendition. It's not take away. It's the word prune. It doesn't mean I dump. Because this gives God an idea like if you don't produce, he dumps you. No, he doesn't dump people. He prunes you. And he says, every branch that beareth fruit, he purges that it may, yes, that's the correct translation, and that it may bring forth more fruit. Verse 3. We'll read down to 7, please. Now we are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. For help us media, you have to be a bit fast, please. Abide in me. This is Jesus speaking. He's teaching us the secret of relationship that will produce a fearful dimension of result in your life. He says, abide in me and I in you. Right? We call this in theology the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery that makes two entities become one. He that abided in me and I in him, what will be the result? Read on, read on. It's there. What will be the result? He says, no, 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 please give us verse 3 again. Verse 3, please go back. Okay, verse 4. Have I missed something? Verse 5. Thank you. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same does what? You see the secret? That's what we want. Another name is results. You want results in your life. He teaches you the secret. He says, I am the vine. Don't be confused. You are one with me, but you are not the vine. You are one with me as the branch. Don't just say I'm one with Christ. As what? As the branch. Ever dependent on the vine. It says he that abides in me. If Joshua Selman abides in me and I abide in him. He said the same will bring forth much fruit. And then he tells us the secret of dramatic results. For without me. For without me, the word without means outside of me, excluding me in the equation, you can do nothing. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. Verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you it says you shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you results on the strength of relationship and so you say father bless your people hallelujah and then you begin to see testimonies and results on the strength of relationship please listen listen god must be the most important person in your life above miracles above healing above business above career pursuits please listen sometimes we get busy trying to do things that we forget that our success in life is a derivative of our relationship there is nothing in this life believe me that is worthy enough to steal away the value, the priority, the position of the Holy Spirit in my life. See what is made out of my life. Only a fool will truly know God and leave him alone to run and live his life his own way. He will give you what money cannot buy. He will do unbelievable, unimaginable things in your life. Intimacy. I've hammered this for years. And I'm saying it again. This is the first message. Pastor, if you want the anointing in your life, you want results in your ministry, it's not just by printing banners 
and marching around town and disturbing people with all kinds of things. There is a place for that. But your greatest publicity is the secret place. When you establish a track record, brothers and sisters, look, God spoke about Jesus Christ. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And he commanded creation to hear him. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It must be your passion. This is koinonia. So God is calling you. I know you want to be healed, but much more than healing. I know you want to be delivered, but much more than deliverance. I know you want breakthrough. You are tired. You want God to visit the foundation of your problem. But more than that, please hear me when I tell you this. It's a sustainable key to grace. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs his presence the key to knowledge dance we be your lover of my soul song of all songs. Just sing it two more times as an expression of your love to God. Dance with me your lover of my soul to the song of all songs. One more time. and pray in one minute and say Lord in this place tonight let there be grace for me to fall in love with you above and beyond everything please lift your voice and pray inside and outside pray grace to love you grace that you become a priority in my life Are you praying, Koinonia? Inside and outside, please make sure you are praying. Oh, yes, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. With all my heart, plant a fire in me. In this miracle service, oh God, more than ministry, more than business, more than academics, more than career pursuit, more than marriage, more than parenting, bring me to a point where nothing in life can take your place. Blessing or no blessing, prosperity or no prosperity, healing or no healing, deliverance. Or no I love your presence. I love you. If ye abide in me and my word abide in you, you will produce results. Be imagination. Bring us to that place, oh God. Please sit down. There are certain people, this is all you need tonight. Just this key to fall in love with Him. Hallelujah. Relationship. Many times after the service, you see people queuing up to see me. And I have some of our children here. They don't join the queue. 
It's called the privilege and the blessings of relationship. Hallelujah. While the rest are seeing me officially, some of these children can just walk up to me and hug me. And as far as they are concerned, anybody in the queue, sorry about that, but this is relationship. Are we together now? Oh, relationship will give you more. Points you didn't pray for, you will see God answering it. That's the realm where the Bible says, as they are still thinking, while he's still in the realm of imagination. When they threw a man who was in a healthy relationship with God. You know, that's what, that was the bill that was passed by the Senate in Babylon. To make sure Daniel cuts away his relationship with God. And Daniel said, no, I can do any other thing but not this. When they threw him in the den, the king could not sleep. See, the same way if you touch a man's wife, even if it's by mistake, you can insult her from a distance, that's all right. But you get physical. The husband changes. The Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. You want to see an angry man do something to his wife or somebody he loves. His sister or somebody. That's what happens. Love alone will give you a level of immunity. Above the immunity of an earthly ambassador. Believe me when I tell you this. The prophet knew this and that was why when they came to capture him, he said, they that are with us, for us, are greater. There is an immunity that you can have. I pray that God will bring us to that place of fellowship. There is that place where sickness cannot come near you. There is that place where no oppression of darkness. Please believe me. You will not spend your time binding and casting. You will spend your time interacting. There is an immunity that comes from that place. And your life becomes an unending wonder. A subject of discussion with no end. Because there is a mystery that surrounds it. The mystery is him. The mystery is him. When, when Shade was collecting the tithes and offering. And she said, um, she was giving an example of a woman and she wanted to look for somebody i was hoping she won't call my name you clean my feet you don't get anything believe me there's there's, there's nothing on my you only clean a dirty um feet but if you can clean his feet change your life relationship hallelujah number two please pay attention the second thing the lord put in my heart to share with us Is that life is a code life is a code life is a code C O D E thank you life is a code there was so much noise I don't know what that was coming from life is a code and it takes revelation to unlock the codes and the mysteries of life. Brothers and sisters, as haphazard as life looks, there is a spiritual rhythm that is responsible for manifestation of results. Please hear me. I call them mysteries. The mysteries of the kingdom. Life is a code. It takes knowledge and understanding to unravel it nothing just happens you don't just grow you don't just experience favor you don't just prosper you don't just fall sick you don't just stay healthy you don't just live long and you don't just die life is governed by laws please listen Life is governed by mysteries. Bishop Oyedeko calls them kingdom secrets. The Bible says, let, let's look at a few scriptures. While I was meditating on this, I'm telling you, it, it blew my mind. Media, you help us. Give us Job 29, verse 4. 
Job 29 verse 4. Then we'll go to chapter 1 verse 3. Job 29 verse 4 and then chapter 1 verse 3. Hear what Job said. The richest man in the east. He says, as I was in the days of my youth. When what? When the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle. He was giving us the explanation. This was a defense. A justification for his being the greatest man in influence. And he said, let me tell you. It's not because my name is Job. There was a mystery. He said, I started doing business with God right from my youth. He says, when the secrets of God. Everybody say the secrets of God. The secrets of God were upon my tabernacle. What did that produce in his life? Chapter 1 verse 3. Same Job. The Bible says his substance. This was a man who had access to divine secrets. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen. It says his substance was also 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels. And 500 yoke of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household. It says, so that this man was what? The greatest of all men in the east. And he tells us the secret. He said, don't just envy my influence. What you see, life is a mirror. If you try to change your physical environment, it's as foolish as looking at the mirror and trying to choke your hand through it. To all tight life only reflects something happening in the spirit the greatest man in the east gives us the secret and he says the secret of the lord i traded secrets divine secrets there was an exchange between the holy spirit and me daniel chapter 2 let's see what daniel says Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 and then 46. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Is God blessing you already? Life is not haphazard. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. Listen, this was when the king had a dream. And he was angry because all his wise men and lieutenants could not interpret it. And he said, look, we are going to kill everybody. And then Daniel said, no, let the king not be hasty in this. Give us time. And Daniel knew the power of his secret place. And the Bible says, then, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. then the secret was what? Revealed. Brothers and sisters, when a particular kingdom secret is revealed, you hold the keys and you will do wonders with it. There's no, there's, there's no way, no way, you can claim you are holding on to a key in the kingdom. And with time, there is no evidence now. It says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 46. 46. It says, listen, my goodness. A man holds... A secret of the kingdom and begins to shock the entire Babylonian Empire to a point that this happened then the king Nebuchadnezzar did what he fell upon his face and worship who God secrets make a man like a God upon the earth a king removes his crown and says what is this Daniel he says he worshiped Daniel and commanded that they should offer oblation and sweet orders to him. Look at verse 28 of the same verse. 28. Hear what Daniel said. Please, let's read together. He was now giving us the key. One to read. But there is a God in heaven that does what? And makes known to the king what shall be in the latter days. Brothers and sisters, the God we serve is a God that reveals secrets. He can call you and say, come, let me show you a secret. Secret. 
Do you know them? Do you know the mystery? What you see in this ministry by the grace of God, this little that God is doing, is a product of mysteries. Don't you ever think it's a mistake. It can be reproduced anywhere, any day, any time. Because it's a secret. It says there is a God in heaven. Everybody say there is a God in heaven that will reveal secrets for me today. There is a secret when you handle the story of your family will change tonight. Just one secret. Please believe me. There is a secret God can show you by prophecy tonight and tell you, look, look, this confusion, you are, you are amiss. This is what is wrong. This is the correction. There is a secret. That delay has a mystery that sustains it. Are we together? That bad luck has a mystery that sustains it. Don't just say people don't like me. Don't you know there is something that makes them not to like you? The same way somebody can turn and look at Benga and say, Benga, God just led me. I don't know why, but take 100,000. No, nobody just acts anyhow. They think they are acting out of compassion, but there is an influence in the spirit. There is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. Psalm 25 verse 14. Psalm 25 verse 14. I must burn this revelation in our hearts. I want us to really have it. Psalm 25 verse 14. It says the secret of the Lord is with who? Them that fear him and he will show them his covenant. The secret of the Lord is not with believers. It's not with churchgoers. Not pastors. Not apostles, not prophets. Those who revere him. Those who respect him. He will call you and say, come, let me show you something. Let me show you what makes ministry work. Let me show you something that can take your life. Let me show you something that can bring you promotion in your office. There is something. The Bible says, the labor of the fool wearied every one of them. Because he does not know the road to the city. Not because there is no road. He does not know. And part of the blessings of the apostolic ministry and the prophetic ministry is access to the mysteries of a dispensation. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Give us chapter, verse 1 to 3. Ephesians chapter 3. This is an apostolic ministry. This is a prophetic ministry. You must understand the spiritual implication this is what paul is saying listen he says for this cause do you know that the mysteries of the kingdom have not um it's not yet it's not exhausted the revelation what we know in church today is not all there is god is still opening more doors and it takes the apostolic ministry to be able to receive and communicate these dispensational secrets current mysteries three verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles verse two if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of god which is given me to you word verse three read please one to read how that by revelation he made known unto me what the mystery he made known unto me he showed me by revelation as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 whereby listen when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ next verse shocking listen which in other ages ah, yeah, 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 yeah was not made known to the sons of men stop listen there are mysteries that have been uncovered in in today's world that have not yet been people did not access it before not that it was not there but that mystery was not meant for that dispensation and the bible says which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto who his holy apostles 
and prophets by the spirit it didn't say reveal to believers please listen this is not human worship it didn't say reveal to believers the current present truth the operation of the holy spirit administratively is communicated in the body by the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic so there are mysteries that god is helping us one of the things i pray that will come upon us tonight is a mantle of revelation not just miracles but that you hold on to something the moment you enter your office you know what to do to silence wicked men the moment you step in you know what to do to move to the next dimension the bible says for jesus himself knew what to do scripture says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom can we pray in one minute and say lord there is something i need to know to rise to the next level please show me pray There is something I need to know. My God, I pray that you show me. Why does everybody hate me? Could it be that there is a mystery that I need to know? The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. Please pray. Lord, why am I just failing, failing in class? the mystery that will end my captivity why an endless circle of poverty there is a key hand it to me tonight oh god please hand it to me why do i just fall sick what's my church not growing what's my home dividing there is a mystery i humble myself tonight why is the anointing scarce in my life why have i not access influence in the spirit show me the mystery are you praying open my eyes This is my year of multiplied grace and influence. It's my year. I place a demand. It's a right because of truth. Right Just said up in the depth of my youth. When the secrets of the Lord, there are secrets. Hear me, Koinonia. We do business in this kingdom with secrets. There are secrets. We remain on the strength of mysteries. Pray is part of the meeting. You're opening up your spirit. Lord, I'm tired of cycles of failure. What's my family? There is a mystery really bring deliverance hallelujah listen the bible says they are life to those who find them and only those who seek find they are light to those who find them and health to their flesh Number three. The third thing the Lord asked me to share with us tonight, very powerful, is found in John chapter 5. Please give us John chapter 5. We'll read verse 1 to 9. The Lord wants to reveal a dimension of himself tonight as the helper listen listen the bible's 
calls God a Beniza. You know what that means? The helper of men. When God comes in to help you in life, you must succeed. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. We're reading down to verse 9. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, Bethesda having five porches. Right? Verse 3. In this lay a great multitude of... Look at the kind of people there. Successful people don't have any business with that environment. It's an environment that connoted weakness. It says, impotent folk of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Please pay attention. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And then whosoever, excuse me, whosoever then um, first, then first after troubling the water stepped in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Can you imagine that kind of frustration? One person per year. Just like Nigeria says, you should wait until somebody retires or dies. Then they say there's vacancy. You now come. One person per year was a horrifying situation. Then the Bible says there was a certain man. No name. There was a certain Which had an infirmity for how long? 38 years. After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. Do you agree with me? After 38 years, anything you cannot do is a concern. At 38 years, no child is a concern. At 38 years, you cannot at least move into your house. It's a concern. At 38 years, there's nothing meaningful you are doing. It's a concern. The Bible says this man had been there 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie. Now listen. God is about to speak to you. And knew that he had been there for how long? For a... The first revelation is that he knows you have been in that situation for a long time. He knows. And then the Bible says, He said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Verse 7. This is what many of us are saying tonight. The important man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no helper. I would have gotten the job, but I have no helper. I would have stepped into another level in ministry but i have no helper he says i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool and tonight god wants to be a helper he walked to him and the man said i have no helper but he said i will help you you don't need the pool rise up he can use another route the formula had always been fall inside the water but he said, let's ignore the water. I am here. Rise up. The formula has been, be blessed after 20 years. But God is saying, I can follow another route with you. Such that in one year, I can do something in your life that will surprise you. He said, I have no man. And the Lord said, reveal to my people, I will manifest as a helper. When God helps a man, you will be surprised. The Bible says, Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Part of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is as a helper. He comes in to help you. That's what grace is all about. That where your effort stops, and you say, Lord, if it's based on my qualification, oh, I read whatever it is, and God says, I am here. I can take you to another level. Oh God, I'm here. I've been barren. They said, I don't even have a womb. And he says, I am here to help you. Who is God speaking to tonight? You really need help. 
only an arrogant person will deny the need for help i have been helped by people in my life and i saw how easy my life became when they helped me are we together now watch this benga come i'm trying to lift this and my hand is i can't lift it and then a helper comes and sometimes he can even volunteer to carry everything and it makes my life easy the help of god can make a man's life easy please let me preach to you for one minute i have a responsibility over this house to tell you this and i must say it this abuse your mind from this satanic proposal coming from the media that nigeria is in trouble economy everybody shouting dollar i like you to shout it count me out say it shout it one more time listen we are not irresponsible citizens don't get me wrong we sympathize with what is happening in the nation but if you dare let satan speak to you he will destabilize your creativity and crumble your life people who have been irresponsible since before dollar have found a shield to explain their irresponsibility everybody says dollar is rising Is it not in your Bible when men say? Are we together now? It says you will say there is a lifting up. This is not the first time the economy of the world is going into trouble. The Bible says in the days of Joseph, it said money failed. Money failed. But there was a secret that was revealed to Joseph. There is what you hold on to that this year can be the most prosperous year in your life listen god is looking for every opportunity to make a statement afford him your life a christian is not one who has just received jesus into his life a christian listen is one who operates by the principles of the word of god our economy is different And by economy, I don't just mean finances. Your health, whatever. There's Lassa fever. There's what again? Huh? There's Zika virus. There's which one again? They are, they are there. It's the one you know you are mentioning. What of the ones that are arrows that fly by day? Have they told you on TV? The Bible. Listen, listen. Psalm 90. Don't turn there. Our time is gone. Psalm 91 said, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence. Right? There are diseases. You breathe them all around. It takes a superior revelation to keep you. I reject everything whose price has been paid on the cross. I will not pay another price again are we together you must understand the implication of your oneness with Christ so he wants to be your helper can you hand over your life and say God help me truly I've tried by myself if you don't help me I will never get this admission if you don't help me I will never graduate if you don't help me, my certificate will remain a piece of paper. I will keep mocking myself with my accolades. Listen, if no one has told you, let me tell you again, our world is a cruel and a wicked world. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to trouble anyone. You just need to be alive. That's the condition to be a potential victim. When the Lord told me this, I said, Lord, I first, I receive for myself. I receive for myself. He is my helper. When God comes in to help you, he can round off what has taken you 10 years, 10 years of captivity. Let me tell you something. It doesn't take time when Jesus is there. It doesn't take time. You will be watching the growth. This is how it will live. And you are saying, where is it? It's gone. 
Who is like him? Lion and the Lamb seated on the throne. What is and the ocean roll to the Lord of Do you know why I raised that song? If you think there are many gods, I know that we claim we are not idols, but I will show you now that many of us have been practicing idolatry. You know why many people never believe God? We still have options. Your uncle still said, okay, let's just see what happens at the end of the month. So while you are saying, Lord, I trust you, what you mean is, Lord, I trust you through my uncle. Are we together now? Lord, I trust you through that that ceo i met him and he said uh, he will consider my promotion lord i trust you through my job god says he will bless you and you say i know my salary is on his way coming <sighs> lord i trust you and you say i know i there's there's that consultant surgeon he's coming in next week from india and god is just arranging it such that is coinciding with my need who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean rolls to the Lord of Lords. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth, all the elders and the saints, sing praise. I believe God, oh, I'm a man of faith. I believe God. He says, I know whom I have believed. I've seen God help people even in this place. In this place. Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery of lifting. God can take a man. You see somebody today and God can lift that person. He, he, they looked at Saul and said, when did, we can't see the process. When did Saul become a prophet? A man sleeps as a prisoner. But the next afternoon, he's already a prime minister. Oh, don't play with the God we serve. There is a mystery of the lifting of men. That you are about to die after one month. And after koinonia, you are not only alive, you are carrying the healing anointing. Who is this God that can bring speed to a man? I'm not motivating you. I know him. There is a mighty God who can wipe the tears of people. Let me tell you, this night, before we pray, just take away your mind from anything and everybody. Don't come to God with your calculation and say, Lord, my prayer request, I wrote my uncle, he must answer me, leave that one. Let God choose, if God wants to use a chair to give you a breakthrough, let him give it to you. You've not read that God used a bed to bring bread for a man. Do you think if Elijah had an option, he would choose a bed? Was it not rock that brought water out from people? These things were not done in the spirit. It's just that we truly do not believe God. We think we do, but we don't. There are people who are sick here right now, but may never believe that God can touch them. Listen, don't be so into your challenges that you think tonight God cannot touch you. It's easy to say, okay, God, I'm happy. I, I thank you for what you are doing. No, you must insist. Hallelujah. Luke 18 verse 1, the Bible says, He spake this parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. He said there was an unjust judge. He didn't fear anybody, not God nor man. And there was this poor widow who said, Avenge me my adversary. And for a long time, the man would not respond. And she kept pestering him. When you place a demand with your faith, there is enough grace. There is enough anointing. You can argue this and watch other people stepping into their testimonies. But please tonight, wherever you are, inside and outside, 
don't make it look like you have come to waste your time tonight are we together god has revealed to us that he's coming in as a helper bless you my dear as a helper as a helper this ministry has been helped by the lord greatly helped by the lord i think it was last week i was sharing the testimony we don't have the opportunity to share one tenth and by the way i want to challenge you when god blesses you don't keep quiet you return back to where you receive the miracle and let the people of god know that this is what god has done i shared the testimony last week i think it was last week or two weeks ago when kaduna after a meeting just to have lunch briefly and then rush back and i'm there and then a woman walks up to order a meal too and she's with a little son then i look at this woman and she was looking at me she said are you pastor joshua i said yes ma and then she greeted me and i said sorry do i know you and she smiled she said i'll tell you a little story she said two years ago she came for counseling as wretched it was like she had come to the end of her life i share this to encourage you hallelujah and um she said everything was scattering she was a single mom with a child supposedly no hope for marriage nothing was working they were about to throw her out on her job and i prophesied to her and i said they were going to call her back and send her to the marketing department she should not be afraid and she said man of god that's exactly what happened and she looked at me and she said can you imagine what has happened in my life she just put her hand like this and i saw a ring and she said i just got married two months ago and then she said i should look outside and there was a clean e-class she said who would believe that in two years i'll be the one owning this my life has changed brothers and sisters if you will believe god can change your life if you will argue he will not argue with you he will leave you to continue until you find enough reasons please i want you to be angry today as we pray and place a demand on the throne of heaven and say lord you must answer me whenever i call you you will answer me elijah called on you and you answered him moses called on you and you answered him that's why i know wherever i call you you will answer me seated here inside and outside in all of the overflows there are people with medical reports that if god does not visit them this night they are dying for sure i bring you a message of hope the helper is in the house there are families here who are in situations that will take a vigil for them to explain because the the situation is so scattered it doesn't have beginning and end they don't even know where the problem started from they know that they are in the middle of a situation but the helper when he comes he can make every crooked path straight there are people here trusting god for children there are people here trusting god for a turnaround breakthrough do you believe that God is stepping in? The worship team sang so beautiful and they challenged us. Do you believe that God is able to step in? We are going to pray right now. You are not praying for your neighbor. You are not praying on your request. You are going to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please don't let me go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, please pray. yes lord hallelujah 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 one more prayer point the power of god is so strong in this place i like you to say lord visit the foundation of my problem and set me free please lift your voice and pray what you think may be the problem may not really be the problem
pray. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this song just seven times. And then I'll begin to minister. My goodness. I tell you, God will do extraordinary things in this place. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise the miracle worker from who will step into your life. Everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. One more time. Lord, we will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you. From everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. Madam, let me talk to you, please. Yes. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rejoice. The Lord is asking me to destroy witchcraft from your life and your family. Because you love the Lord, but there is a lot of oppression in your life. Is that true? Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that he's ending captivity today from your life. Right now, I command that spirit out by the power of the Holy Spirit. I stretch my hand. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something being removed from your head. That's what I see happening. You will never be the same again. I command it out. By the authority of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God is removing something from your stomach too. I'm seeing something leaving your stomach. Like a growth. I command it to go now. Right now. Right now. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting. Hallelujah. Everlasting. Madam. Check yourself. Give her the mic. Check yourself right now. Your stomach area. Check yourself. What is happening? Look at this. Because I saw that there was something. If I don't pray for you. Huh? There's a movement. There's a movement. Because I'm seeing something. Later they will tell you it's fibroid. Huh? You are, you are even afraid of going to the hospital. The hospital. Yes. Because you think they will tell you it's fibroid. That's really what they would have told you. But today we cancel it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everlasting to everlasting. Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, Gabriel. Please, let's save time. Gabriel, you are at that row. You are at the back. That row, at the back. You are a gentleman at the back. That row there. Where is the person, please? Come out quickly. 
You're wearing something like brown, brown shirt or something. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Come. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Lord, I will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Eh? Because I'm seeing another woman. Your mother is here. The Lord is saying I should speak to her. Light is living from you outside. There is a woman outside. She's your mother. Where is she? Is she here? Or at, not outside? At, at the, is he at the edge of the wall or outside? Some, who is that, please? Is she here? Come, mama. God is wiping the tears of your family tonight. Everlasting to everlasting, Lord, we will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. We will praise you from everlasting. Mama, you're welcome. Please stand up. This woman has suffered. I'm looking at this woman and I saw a load on your head that is reaching the roof and she's carrying it alone. Mama, can you hear me? Look at this woman crying. You see, some of you don't know why. God, this is not just showmanship. There are people here just seated close to you. If they tell you their stories, your own story will look like child's play because this woman has suffered. Mama, you are a good woman, but listen, listen. Where, where are you? Are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. In Zaria, what do you do? I desire I need to pray because I'm, I'm seeing this is a cause. I'm a widow. I know. I'm going to pray for you. Do you know why I call this boy? They want to kill him. That's why I want to pray for him. They caught. He matter they caught. This way matter they caught. I go yesterday. Yesterday we go. They say on the ten. We will come back again. Eh? What caught? He get problem. He matter they caught. If I don't pray for this boy, as small as he is, they are going to kill him. Do I know you are, have a case in the court? Why would we call somebody? Like, don't don't be afraid, Mama, because. This thing will even cause you problem. Um, young man, I will pray for you. Mommy, look at me. This thing is a curse. Huh? The same way they killed your husband, they want to kill this boy and leave you in misery. Huh? Mama, I'm going to pray for you. There is a God that reveals secrets to men. Because I'm seeing a load right to the roof on your head. You are carrying it alone. I will pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is wiping your tears. I'm seeing a mother outside. The Lord is showing me a mother outside. A woman outside. Uh, it's like you are wearing her tie. But it's not like her tie, same material. Her tie like a normal, this thing. This, this, it's, a, it's an elderly woman outside sitting just by this side of the window. Please, I need to speak to her. If there is somebody like that, let's have a mother outside. The Lord is showing me. Mama, I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus for God to change your story. I don't know what is in the court, but in the name of Jesus, we will change it. How old are you? You are 14. You will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. You believe that? Where are you from, Mama? From Meadow. You are from where? Oh, Edo, from Okwela. Where are you from? You are from Edo State. That's what the Lord is telling me. Because the same thing he's delivering two of you from. You see that? <laughs> Mama, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is destroying that spirit. Father, I lay my hands on our mommy. 
the back pain look at me mama the back pain you it did, it did, it did. you will be healed now Amen. hold my hand Amen. look at what is happening to her mama shout jesus loud jesus father hold my hands for your glory mama look at me look at me you see something like fire moving at your back right now that pain is living right now in the name of jesus do what you couldn't do check yourself do what you couldn't do look at look at you help her cover her it will never return to you in the name of jesus and i pray for you my friend i'm seeing you but i'm seeing two heads this is a misidentity the devil wants to misrepresent you but i'll pray for you huh your passion for god have good friends if your friends are not good leave them this night may god give you good friends in the name of jesus christ grace for you that anointing comes upon you takes you to a new dimension this is the woman mama you're welcome let's celebrate jesus i'll pray for you but there is another woman i'm talking about there is another mama outside who needs to come mama i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus you have a daughter yes where is she she's outside she's outside call her come daughter where are you please come Everlasting to what's her name Shim. Shim. please you had your name rush and come in our time is gone who is this i told that i'm the one no the woman i'm talking about has her tie um it's not the same as the material it's not the same as the material she's wearing i'm looking for a hair tie that looks close to it ladies now the normal scarf that you carry and tie but i will pray for you anybody that has come out i'll pray for you i don't know why she's here she's, but i'll pray for you you are already out i'll pray for you please let's let me just minister to those that are here i'll pray for you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please you can return back to your seat let me talk to you your daughter? daughter. Um, Mama, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. He's visiting your family. And look at me, my dear. God is taking delay from your family. Tell your mother. This is your grandmother, right? Huh? Who is like your mother? Oh, mine. I see. I, I, oh, I get the story now. Your real mother is dead. Yes. This is your grandmother, but she's like your mother now. Yes. Oh, I see. Because the Lord is saying I should tell your mother, whoever is that, that she's going to lift her. Amen. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Mama, God is lifting you and is wiping your tears. And the Lord is telling me that he's adding years to your life. Yes. Believe me. Who is this? Your what? Yeah, but she have um, son and daughter. You have a daughter? She have a daughter, but she's my elder sister. She's your elder sister? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll talk with you. We have to really rush. Mama, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. The God I serve will bless you. He will honor you. What do you do, my dear? I'm a student. Where? ABU here. ABU here. Yes, I'll pray for you. God is bringing favor upon your life. Look at me. You will really be a blessing to mama. And make sure you bless her with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. May that grace come upon you. Right now in the name of Jesus. Bless you mama. Come. Come. Two of you. You love Jesus. Are you part of them? Come. You love Jesus. No, you are stubborn. Come. You need to be prayed for. Come. You don't love Jesus. You are, you are very stubborn. 
but Jesus loves you. You are a stubborn boy. You have bad friends. You don't listen. We have to pray for you. There is a spirit disturbing you. You need to be delivered. Let her go right now. Out! Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I command that devil. Hmm? They want to make your sister mad. Eh? What's wrong with her? It's mad, sir. She's mad. Yes, sir. This is madness. She will be free right now. She came here mad. You are joking. This is koinonia. I command that spirit. She's mad. Out! You must go right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release her hands. Release her hands. Hold me. Hold me. I command that madness. How can a lady like this be mad for God's sake? I command that spirit. They must leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the spirit of the Christ. Jesus, for your mercy, for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. This lady is not just mad. This was supposed to be an initiation. Hold on, please. This is a serious issue. This is supposed to be an initiation into the occult. This is not just mad, like occult, fly. This is occult. An occultic thing. It's not just madness. And you, if they don't pray, you don't listen. You are small, but God will help you, eh? Don't be angry. You have to leave your bad friends. You hear me? If not soon now, you start taking a... What's that thing? That cough syrup. Huh? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Please. Don't be embarrassed. We are not, we're not here to embarrass people. You get what I'm saying? We are not here to embarrass people. I have to pray for you. What do you do? Um, I'm vibing in Sokoto. Eh? I'm staying with my elbow daughter in Sokoto. No, that's not what you are doing. Hold what? on. Why am I seeing a clipper? I'm vibing in Sokoto. You say you are staying with your brother. I'm seeing a clipper. Come. You two, two of you, God needs to help you. You are a good boy, but there, there's bad influence around your life. God even needs to visit your brother in Sokoto. Eh? You believe what I'm telling you? Yes, you came from Sokoto? Yes, sir. All the way? Yes, sir. This one, where did he come from? He's staying with my mom here. Yeah. He's staying with your mom. Is your mom here? No, sir. She's not here. I have to pray for you. Huh? Um, when, I'm, when I make the altar call, I'll make the altar call. Once you just hear the altar call, just run and come out. Hmm? It's time to be very serious. Jesus Christ will help you. You're a great person. Huh? You are a great person. You don't have any business doing what you are doing. Now, what took you to Sokoto? I went to school. Are you a student? No, sir. I have not gotten to admission yet. Your school is not Sokoto. Come back. Don't think somebody will manipulate you and do wrongs for you to get this and that because what you want to do is not very good. Eh? It's not a godly thing you want to do to get admission. Let's do things correctly. Huh? What do you want to study? Computer science. This is not computer science. I'm seeing IT. Something that has to do with, with IT. And God will bless you, but you need to settle down. Because the way you are desperate for admission now, you can you do everything. Have you written jam? Um, you are writing jam. On Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday. Well, I won't say it here. Be careful. Just be careful. You hear what I'm saying, Abi? You know what I'm saying. Yes, be careful. Eh? Because you can't want God to help you. And you're already doing arranging. You know what I'm saying now? All these funny things people do for jam. What is not your own is not your own. I'm not embarrassing you. The Lord will step in and the Lord will bless you. Just hold that lady and let me minister to you. Who is this? Please, if I don't... Yes, Mama, Mama, come. Please, if I don't call you, you don't come out. Mama, I want to pray for you. You do business. Because you are supposed to do... There is business that God has been putting in your heart. Yeah? Is that true? God, I see you do business. What you are getting from civil service is not enough to take care of you. And God wants to open a door for you. A business door. 
You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for you because God wants to really give you prosperity this year. Okay, thank you. Regina, Regina, I hear a name Regina. Regina, Lord, in the name of Jesus, step into our mother's life. Do a miracle for her right now in the name of Jesus. I hear a name Regina. Regina, please, who is that? Do we have anybody outside? Regina, you are outside. There's nobody, we just move to the next case. You are Regina. Come, what do you do? I'm a saloonist. You are a saloonist. I need to pray. Bad luck. God wants to take away bad luck from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody's marriage was cancelled. Come out, please. Your marriage. Who is that? No, not you. Somebody's marriage. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. You were supposed to. You've even started the arrangement. They just cancelled it like this. And your heart is pain. Please come out. I want to pray for you. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit is giving us grace. You are Regina. In the name of Jesus, God is giving you favor. Please don't sit back. This is a serious issue. In the name of Jesus. I lay hands on you. Please go back. I don't have to speak over your life. Once I lay hands on you. What do you do? I just graduated. Eh? Graduated from school. You just graduated. I have to pray for you because you love God. Yes, sir. You know now, my mind is who is supposed to? They've started your marriage planning. Please come, my sister. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. You get what I'm saying? Is to speak over your life. You too. What category are you here for? Huh? Regina, okay, I'll pray for you. Who has sickle cell? See, there's a sickler here now. You are the one? Please indicate, eh, sweetheart. Come. Hold my hands. Look at me. Father, please do a miracle for this lady. You have changed several genotypes in this place change her genotype right now in the name of Jesus from SS to AA do it for her in the name of Jesus Christ my dear let me pr please um, are you based in Zaria here are you part of our prayer department yes sir please be serious eh? and pray because uh, it's not just prayer department after koinonia you can meet the media and listen to the messages they will help you you love jesus but your mindset is still very serious and you can do anything especially men so please you will listen to that message and the lord will help you huh in the name of jesus christ my dear come i don't know what happened i don't want to ask you please don't feel embarrassed huh when do you want to settle down December last year. It was supposed to be December last year. What happened? You called me and said I should forget about everything. The guy called you and just told you he's not doing again. Yes, sir. Did he give you a reason why? No reason. Okay, let me tell you. Weep not. God saved you from heartache. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please. See, let me tell you. If you don't have the eyes of the spirit you will be fighting god not knowing are we together now i'm sorry to say don't feel bad don't feel embarrassed you see that guy it was three of you you are not the only one you have been sensing that there's another lady the other lady promised to do him something if he doesn't leave you that's why why he quietly called out of fear and all of that that he's, he may be a sincere person but him and women it's even a spirit he needs help let me pray for you that god will bring the man he has destined you're a very nice lady father in the name of jesus christ i lay my hands upon her father send into her life the man a, a responsible and god-fearing man in the name of jesus christ and for your shame may my god give you double in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let me just talk to two people and then we'll... Madam, please come. 
That woman, can I talk to you? Please clear the way for her. Madam, please come. Please, let's pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray in the spirit. Say, Father, visit me. Madam, please look at me. I have to pray for you. Something is tying your finances down completely. Yes, sir. That's the major reason why you came. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. You were asking the Lord to visit your finances. Yes, sir. Because everybody will see you now and think things are just working, but the truth is nothing is really working. Yes, sir. You need a serious miracle in that area. That's true, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are you married? Yes, but now I'm out of Hold on. Don't worry. You don't, just answer. You don't have to embarrass yourself because there is a spirit. Huh? This spirit brings bad luck on your life. People come to you and then in a few weeks or months, they will now fight you. This is still what happened in your marriage. It's true, sir. Because the man has gone. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, is that true? Are you in your husband's house now? No, sir. You are not in your husband's house. The yes, Lord sir. is bringing a miracle for you. Amen. What do you do? I'm a hairdresser. Your hairdresser. Do you believe in tithing? Yes, sir. You tithe? No. Don't feel embarrassed. This is the one thing the devourer is marching in and out of your life because tithing is not in place. Please believe it. It's not a gimmick by men of God. Is she your friend? Because I'm seeing light from you to her. You know her. Eh? Why have you not been talking to her about tithing? Even last week you discussed with her. No, 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 don't feel bad. Madam, please, look at me. Tithing is not a gimmick by men of God. Believe me. You understand what I'm saying? It's the access point the devil is using. Where is your husband, the man now? He's at home now. I will discuss with you, eh, madam. This is not something we will say in public. It's a very serious issue. But I need to pray for you. But for now, I need to pray for you. There is bad luck. And we need to pray against it. Please don't feel bad. God is about to change your life. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. I command that spirit. See, there is a spirit that is making this thing happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Release her right now. That spirit leaves you. Madam, go and prosper. You will prosper in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Um, there's a baby that is sick. I have to pray for that baby. I'm seeing a baby that is very sick. Very small baby. Sick. Your child? Is she sick? Yes, sir. What's wrong with her? She's having difficulties in breathing. Difficult in breathing. Difficulty in breathing. How old is the baby? It's five months. Five months. This is not the only baby. There's another one. Come, come. I'll pray with you. What did the doctors tell you about the baby? Syndrome. They said it's what? That is Down syndrome patient. Down syndrome? Yes, sir. We soon need doctor. Ah, you are a doctor now. Down syndrome. At least I know I don't know what causes it, but I know how it does. Please come, come, come and talk to us. Give us some little education. Let's cast this. Um, it's a congenital disorder. And the difficulty in breathing is most likely coming from a congenital heart disease. It mostly manifests with congenital heart disease. Then there are other um, manifestations too. From the fishy, you can um, see some of the manifestations also. I don't know what you said, but all <laughs> I know. <laughs> Most likely, the difficulty in breathing is coming from a congenital heart disease. We are going to pray. This, this baby... believe that this child ah, God do a miracle 
in the name of Jesus. Hold him. Am I holding him right? In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, by the blood of Jesus, do a miracle in this child. We change this situation in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be a miracle in Jesus' name. I'm seeing one more child though. Who is that? Please come. Please hold the child. You are the one who needs the healing first. Just hold the child. I hope the child will not cry. I have to pray for you. Huh? Something is really fighting you. Huh? This is witchcraft. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, you know my voice. In the name of Jesus, she's been translated from the kingdom of darkness into light. And you must let her go. I'm seeing this lady in the realm of the spirit like a tree. That is, is refused from moving. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those dreams, those oppressions, I come against them in Jesus' name. Let's pray for the baby. What's wrong with the baby? She has been coughing and stooling. Coughing and stooling. Baby, how are you? In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to you. No more coughing. In the name of Jesus Christ, perfection in your body. I release the power of the Holy Spirit upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. The power flows through this baby. Jesus name. I hope the usher will help her because I'm sensing this anointing even on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baby we take away everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Where is the man in your life? He's one of the ushers. Okay. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing something that is serious but I'll talk, I'll talk about it. Okay. The Lord is showing me something that is quite serious. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. There are 13 people here. There is a strong influence of confusion and stagnation. Please listen. 13 people here right now, inside and outside. I'm going to pray for you right now. Wherever you are, as I begin to pray, it's like fire. It will come upon you. Confusion, stagnation. At least 13 people I see in the spirit. Please lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. I'll do the praying. Let's just flow the way the Holy Spirit is praying. Lord Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels. 13 people by the influence of the Spirit. I stand under this apostolic anointing and I pray right now. Wherever you are, inside and outside, right now as I pray, that fire starts coming upon them right now. Right now, bring them out. 13 people. Sheketekapa. 13 people by the power of the Holy Spirit. I end it right now. There are still people outside, inside. 13 people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. I'm seeing fire. It's like a spirit that would jump out of you right to the back inside outside i command that confusion outside the anointing the holy ghost is resting on people confusion all the overflows in the name of jesus confusion must come to an end right now delay
Lift your hands. I tell you, there will be a mighty baptism outside. Outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus. When you shout it, I see altars on fire. Are you ready now? Outside, one, two, three. Bring them. Bring them. Fire is falling outside. The Bible says, while men slept, hear me. There are things that tie the destinies of men. Jesus already paid the price. That's why we are doing what we are doing. The authority is that of Jesus Christ. Bring them in. Now listen. Listen. My goodness. You are going to lift your hands for your family. I see the angels of the Lord bringing deliverance for families. Listen. At the count of three, I tell you wherever you are, I like you to shout Jesus with all your heart. Some of you, you are representing an altar of God for your family. And the moment you do that, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle. One, Father for families, let the soul of the spirit go from the north to the south, east and the west of every family. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus! Families, families, families. The sword of judgment. Pray, pray. Make sure you're praying. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now those outside listen. I came out because your destiny must open up. Lift your hands. I came out to bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Hear me. There is no one here whose destiny has been tied that that spirit will remain. I'm going to, listen. I'm going to begin to walk around. My goodness, I see angels by my left and right. As I begin to move across this place, the fire of God will start falling. Right now, I stand under this apostolic office and I declare my hands. Right now, right now, right now. I command us right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire. Every spirit. Every devil from my left, my right, outside, outside, my left, my right, every devil right now, I stretch my hands, every spirit, go, 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 I command every spirit, right now, release them, release them, right now, release them, release them. Hallelujah. 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 Those of you here, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to shout Jesus just two times. And I see like a tornado. It's like the spirit will start moving right to the back. That's what the Lord is saying. I should shout. There are spirits, time men. It's your time to go now. Jesus, get ready now. Get ready now. Jesus, go, go, go out. Out right now. My left and my right. I release spirit. Right now. 
Right now. Right now. Those spirits, I command them to leave. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now, right now. I stretch my hands towards you. Every force tying you down. In the name of Jesus. He must release you right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now listen. Those of you outside don't think you are missing anything at all. That's why I came out. I'm going to all the overflows. Those of us here. You may be outside. But let me tell you something. God will step into your destiny. Please lift your hands. Because I'm seeing chains from where this camera is right to the end. I'm seeing chains. Lift your hands. I want you to shout Jesus just once at the count of three. And everybody under that influence must go right now. Please be careful with anybody close to you so that you don't stampede them. Father, I chains of bondage. But you organize this meeting to recover destinies. Therefore, at the count of three, it will come like fire on some of you. One two three right now right now right now right now right now right now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i cost that spirit let that go right now in the name of jesus 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 the lord is giving you a new song a new song the lord is wiping your tears you on green lift your hands take it now receive right now by the power of the holy ghost mama the lord is saying i should tell you he's wiping your tears god is wiping your tears in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the lord is saying what you could not do in five years you mama in five years he's making to happen for you in one year in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ sir i have to pray there's delay in your life the lord wants me to break the spirit of delay i hope you are not embarrassed sir no hold my hands sir. something will happen to you remarkably right now take it that devil of delay out of his life right now out out i don't know who this man is but he's stepping into a new level god is wiping the spirit of delay in the name of jesus i'm seeing in the spirit a name ebony ebony state someone here from ebony state god is bringing a miracle at my back that person is at my back ebony state God is bringing a miracle wherever that person is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who is Margaret Margaret I'm hearing the name Margaret you are in this place oh no 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 there's a lady here Margaret I'm seeing the Lord is shining who is that come Margaret you are Margaret look at me the Lord is wiping the tears of your family in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit to leave your family right now i see a family of five ladies none is married a family of five ladies the lord is showing me five ladies none is married none is married he's on the wheelchair how long have you been seven years what happened to you you were shot oh you're a military personnel and You've had to leave the army because of it. Or you are still there. The but then you need to walk. Yes, sir. Wow. You can't feel? No, I cannot feel. You can't feel this leg right it's now? It's a spinal cord injury. Oh, it's a spinal cord. A lumbar problem. Yes, sir. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family of five ladies. Please. I have to talk. Five ladies. None of them is married five ladies none is married no one among them is married god needs to do a miracle 
please make sure that we confirm the situation. Five ladies, so that we don't say yes. we are faking it. Please make sure. Yes, yes. Five ladies, where yes, are you from? Yes, I'm from Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, yes. You two? Five, you two? You are together? Oh, you are his sister? No. You are his friend? So why are you here with him? To back him up? Oh, five ladies, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. There is a spirit that brings delay in your family. And I take authority over that spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. There's somebody around here. You are into book selling. Bookstore business. God wants to increase somebody's bookstore business. Here. I'm sensing it. I don't know if there's anybody here. You are into selling of books. The Lord is saying prophesy increase to that person. Oh, Jordan is you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Jordan. You step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Ah, but you are not related to him. You just came out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the people here. I hope they can hear me. Hallelujah. There's somebody I need to pray for here. Call that lady. Call that lady. You. Don't think distance is a barrier. Believe me. God can fish you out from anywhere. Look at me. I know you are standing by the fence, but God is wiping your tears. He's giving you a new song. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I release that anointing upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has answered your prayer. You are praying that I minister to you. You and your friend. Where is your friend? Where is he? Lift up your hands, two of you. You will step into an anointing. Uh, hold your hands together. In the name of Jesus. Look, I stretch my hands. Right now, let a fire come upon both of you. Right now, right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You step into a strange dimension. Let me talk to the people here. I want everybody to be able to know that when you come for this meeting, it doesn't matter where you are. God can visit you. No, don't worry. Just, just leave the person. Grace. I hear a name, Grace. 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 There's someone with the name Grace. Is there someone like that? Grace. Grace. I need to pray for Grace. 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 And I'm hearing Garba. Garba. I'm hearing a name Garba. God is ministering to somebody. I don't know if it's a son name or a name Garba. In the name of Jesus. Garba, where are you? Your name is Garba. Your son name is Garba. Where is your dad? He's outside. He's in Saudi Arabia. He's, a, he's, he's in Saudi Arabia. Because I'm seeing God is saying, look at me. God is saying, I should tell you that there's going to be increase for your family. Okay. And it's, I, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You have to be very serious with me. You are going to be very wealthy. You are going into oil and gas. Amen. Are you hearing me? I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I'm seeing that you are going into oil and gas. And God is going to honor you. God will bring a man into your life. Bless you. I'm seeing three people here. You are writing jam next week. Jam. No, no, not everybody. Hold on, hold on. Just relax. I'm going to pray for everybody. Here, where I'm standing. You are right, John. Three people. You are right, John. Somebody is writing it for the fourth time. That person, you are the one. This will be the last time. Do you know me? Come, come and stand. What? Please remind me in case I forget. This jam thing, we have to settle it once and for all. Please. People are writing this thing again and again. I curse that spirit. This overflow, these ones looking at me. Please lift your hands. Not these ones. Those ones, exactly. Please lift your hands. Please don't think that because of the distance, right? God cannot touch you. There is a reason why I'm coming out with this. Because sometimes... Inside is just a fraction of those outside. And I want you to feel a sense of belonging to know that
God is able to visit you and to minister to you. Hallelujah. Those outside here, there are at least two of you. Fire is coming upon you right now. I see the power of darkness being broken. Lord, where are they? Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand upon this anointing. Wherever they are, Father, there is a lady right now. It's like fire is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that fire is coming upon you. All of you standing here, I prophesy to you. In the name that is above all names, hear me. Whatever has tied your progress, I'm talking to those here. I stand under this anointing and I declare a change of story right now. Benway State, there's someone here from Benway. Benway. Um, Benway State. You have an elder brother. Please make sure that you don't come out. We are not faking this thing, please. You have an elder brother. Where? I'm going to pray for you. God is visiting your family. Visiting your family in strange ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that if you seek him with all your heart, he will surprise you. I hear what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of families here under financial stagnation. And the Lord is saying release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen, listen. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't come and waste your time. God brought you here to wipe your tears. Any family here. You have tried and tried and tried. Doors have refused to open. I open it for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody here. You are looking for a job. June. Um, you are looking for a job in Abuja by June. I see a job coming. This is what God is saying. I don't know who I'm speaking. But God is many somebody. Your name is Grace. Where is your mother? Kogi State. I need to pray for you because there is witchcraft. I take authority over that spirit. Name of Jesus. I need to pray for somebody. Two of you. I want you to follow me. You smoke this thing. Um, what's the name of that? It's not just stab out. Weed. Please, don't be embarrassed. Two of you, you really smoke it. You love the Lord, but this thing is a challenge. Please follow me. Your deliverance has come. You smoke weed. Your own is not just uh, all that cigarette. Please, don't be embarrassed. Follow me and I'll, I'll pray for you. And brother here, listen. listen. God is speaking to you. You came for koinonia, but you left a lady in your room. You left a lady in your room. You told her you are coming for koinonia and you will come back. Please, don't destroy yourself and destroy that lady because your going back now is to get that lady pregnant and you'll be in trouble. God is saving you. Send her a text now to go home. You are born again. One, once I make altar call, wherever you are, please march to the front. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on some ladies here. I've seen a, some at least three ladies severe menstrual pain. This is not this is something that for one of you is in your family. Lift your hands, please. Just here, this region. Right now, the fire of God is going to come on some ladies. I take authority over that spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, right now, I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will feel like fire on her stomach right now it will come upon you like fire i take authority over it right now in the name of jesus christ and there is a lady that the lord is showing me for four months you have not seen your period four months you have not seen your period i think you need to talk to your friend to help you because before the end of this meeting is returning in the name of Jesus Christ I see someone's family um, like relative in prison 
there's somebody here like that in prison one of your relatives i don't know if you see it police station or prison something like that god is doing a miracle who is that there's somebody like that you're the one come who is in prison your nephew are you sure which prison is in gobe state how long is his tenure Five years. Five years. How many years has he done? One. One year. We are going to pray for mercy. You will not reach five years. We are going to bring him out. You believe that? Yes. Lift your hands for him. Father, in the name of Jesus, step in and heal him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands, my dear. Look at me. I'm seeing a crown being put on your head. You, this. Are you hearing me? God is bringing you into a new dimension of grace. Father, I stretch my hands to her right now. Right now. That fire comes upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Let me talk to the lady with the pink cap. You lift your hands. Beauty for ashes. That's what God is saying is bringing. Beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. God is bringing a restoration to your family. Your family is experiencing I will praise you. In the name of Jesus. Joseph. Joseph, I hear you. Joseph. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph, you are wearing a short dress. Joseph. You are in the crowd. I will pray for you. But the Joseph is inside the crowd here. God wants to lift you. Lift your hands. Something will come on you. You are a student. You are a copper. God is wiping In the name of Jesus Christ, a new dimension of grace. You are Joseph. Look at me. What are you studying? Are you a student? You are done with German. What do you want to study? Agri. You are going to be a businessman. And God is going to honor you. Too. In the name of Jesus, Joseph John, where is he? Come. Why did you stop doing business? There's an anointing for you. Go back and the Lord will honor you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Where is your mother? Where is the village? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the way he would lift you, all those who know you will be surprised. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord will lift you. Eh? Because I'm seeing your story similar to that of Esther in the Bible. Go and read the story of Esther. How that God can pick somebody who is supposedly nothing. Someone's sister here is barren. Who is that person? Barren. The Lord is saying it's time for the child. I will praise you. Not you or your sister. Is how many years? Six years. You follow me. How, how many years? Eleven years. Two of you come. The Lord is responding. You too. Please follow me. Madam, look at me. Confusion is ending in your life. Come. Come. The Lord is bringing an end to confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, lift your voice and pray and say, Father, you are changing my story. There is a habit God is setting you free from. It's a terrible habit right now. Be free. It's not a habit you should practice at all. God is setting you free from it. Somebody here has eye problem. No, no, no. Not eye. I'm going to for you. There's somebody here with eye problem. Your eye pains you if you see light. Who is that person? No more you get discouraged easily. God is saying that you should, you should not be discouraged. Who is the person, please? Lay your hands on your hands. In the name of Jesus. No Step into your mind. Let's go. I'm on my way to better Those things, please follow me. Status is changing. No more 
the Lord is bringing me to a new dimension. I'm on my way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord wants to release certain kinds of miracles right now. Who are all these people following me, please? Hold on. The Lord wants to release fruitfulness. Please be sensitive, everybody, inside and outside. He's using children as a point of contact, but this will affect every other area's life. Every other body's. Um, how many years? Six. Six years. Your sister, yes. where is she? She's in Zara. How about you? 11 years. Oh my God. My auntie. 11 years. Ah. Why didn't they come for the miracle service? She's in Abuja. No, 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 no. Please, don't, don't just come out carelessly. Please, please. Okay, come out. The Lord is asking me to let you come out. Please. I'm going to pray for the sick, but barrenness issue. Let's deal with it right now. Tonight, I want God to step into people's lives. I think you should honor what Jesus is doing in this place. Look at the number of issues. Believe me, when I tell you there will be testimonies. If you are standing here for yourself, just move this way. If you're standing for yourself, move this way, please, so that I know. Please, just move here. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this is God is to do. Please, this way, just let there be a separation. My, my brothers and sisters, please see how many people the devil is tying down. The Lord is bringing you into an anointing. It's a healing anointing that is coming on you. I see an angel of the Lord pouring like oil upon your head. You, you looking at me. Something has been activated in your spirit, man. Step into that oil, that fountain. It's that healing anointing. Koinonia, please, I want you to know that this is a platform that God has created to wipe the tears of men. As we gather there every week, God is doing something. Please be patient with God tonight and let him do something in your life. Because I have to pray for the sick. I'm only going to lay hands on those who are standing here for themselves because I want them to return with the testimony. But for all of us who are connecting for other people, you, lift your hands. You, out, right now, right now. It's a curse upon the family. You are going by the spirit of the living God. Right now, you are a devil of darkness. I see you in the spirit and there must be that release right now. Please, those of us here, talk to the Lord on behalf of your loved ones and say, Lord, you must change your story. You must change your story. Those of us here, I'm going to lay hands on you by you. Please pray. Thank you, Jesus. All right, lift your hands, everyone, here. This category, just lift your hands, please. For time's sake, I may not be able to lay hands on you, but I want you to believe. Something is happening to you that is happening to your loved ones. You need to call them and believe. Many of you are receiving for your loved ones. My goodness, I hear the cry of children. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive it for your loved ones. Receive it right now. I open wombs, I open wombs, I open wombs. In the name of Jesus, I open wombs. I command a remembrance. A remembrance right now. In the name of Jesus. Right here, we declare miracle children. For your loved ones. 
miracle children they take in right now and nine months after now they give birth to their children in the name of jesus hallelujah please go back to your seat god bless you god bless you those who are standing here i'm going to pray for you please make sure you are married if you are not married please don't embarrass yourself go back to your seat praise the lord let me pray for those who are standing for themselves we have to pray that's why you came hallelujah remember the testimony that god gave a woman who had been barren for eight years how many years eight solid years and god gave her triplets they are still alive till today triplets triplets please i want you to believe god if you are standing husband and wife no problem you are standing for your wife no problem just make sure you are married that's the only thing we're saying please i'm going to pray for you stretch your hands over them and pray because we will release fruitfulness right now in the name of jesus i don't care what the problem is jesus is stepping in my confidence the source of my strength are you the strength of my life are you my open my joy are you Hey, my confidence are you I looked around and I suddenly realized that you've been so good to me your, your mercy is everlasting undenying overwhelming I tell you, celebrate God because this will end. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call when I call you? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my call? The source of my strength are you. The strength of my life my open my joy my confidence the source of my strength the strength of my life my open my joy my confidence I miracle madam go and return back with your child in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let this womb be open in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus madam you are coming back with a testimony what is there has been removed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord wipes your tears right now in the name of Jesus where is your husband sir please stand near your wife there's a reason why the Lord is asking can you hold her hands hold on I don't care what the doctors say you are returning with your testimony The Lord is giving you a baby girl and then a baby boy. I know you want a boy, but God is giving you a baby girl first and then a boy in the name of Jesus. Make sure you come and testify. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, a miracle. A miracle. But there are still three more cases we'll deal with very fast we'll pray for this just for one minute and then 
I'll begin to prophesy. There are people who have not yet received what they came for here. Please, just be patient with us. Please, this is a miracle service, right? So that we can justify our coming. Please, let's rise. We'll just do this in one minute. I'd like you to believe. Stretch your hands here right now. Stretch your hands in one minute and let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards the prayer request and let's pray. Prophesy over it. Your request is here. Lord, we turn it into a testimony. Please make sure those outside their requests are here too. If they are here to collect your request, just wave it inside and outside and somebody will come and attend to you. Are you praying? Prophesy. Father, this must become a testimony in my life. This must become a testimony in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you answer prayers in this place. Jebakarota supra di jeberebosh. Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs, oh God. Supernatural miracles. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles upon miracles. Miracles. Visit everyone. Visit issues of concern. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I prophesy over this request in the name that is above all names. That every request represented here, no matter how impossible it is, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let every dead situation here come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God, we sang that you are not a man. Turn every captivity here. Turn every captivity here. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to prophesy to us. Please lift your hands. Um, you don't have to bring them out. It will be... Just give me 10 more minutes, but it's going to be extensive prophecy. Extensive prophecy. I want to speak to you because... I know the things that I see things in the spirit that have not yet been received. We have to pray in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to believe God and lift your hands. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting off with direction. There are people here who came praying, Lord, what is the next step of my destiny? Wherever you are, I'm prophesying to you. As I speak, fire will come upon you just on your head. Some of you will start feeling fiery sensations on your ears. The Lord is bringing direction right now. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Supernatural direction. Help that guy. In the name of Jesus. Every confusion in your life. Those outside, make sure you participate. Someone is asking, oh God. What is the next step? I pray by this anointing, receive direction right now. Receive direction right now. In the name of Jesus. Someone's marital destiny is under siege. Right now, in the name that is above all names. An anointing, a yoke breaker anointing. I prophesy, receive it right now. I open those doors right now. Inside, outside. I open those doors right now. Hallelujah. There's someone praying. You are asking God for money for rent. Rent. The Lord is telling me that between now and Monday morning, there is a miracle coming for you. There is a miracle coming for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are ladies who have, even guys, this spell of disfavor. Please listen. In the name of Jesus, you will literally feel like something being wiped out of your face. 
I see many people being affected by this. Lord, where are they? That mark of this favor. By this anointing. Right now. Right now. I break that mark. Right now. Inside, outside. In the name of Jesus. I tell of that mark. Kaparataka Latosia. That mark of this favor. That embargo of bad luck upon your life that makes things not to work I come against it in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen you have come to the end of your road and if God does not step in there will not be any way out I pray for you that door closed over your destiny that will not allow you move to the next level I stand under this anointing in this miracle service and I prophesy I command that door to open right now oh come on believe it believe it I command that door to open I command that door to open swing open in the name of Jesus whatever has been emerged from heaven to enter your hand and it's yet to enter your hand. Please stretch your hands towards me. Shala Kataya. In the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands back. Receive it right now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it right now. Everything that must enter your hand. Inside and outside. I command it. From the realm of the spirit. I deliver it to your hands. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah everything that has refused to grow in your hand ideas businesses please listen everything that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names return and cause it to grow return and cause it to grow i command that business grow I command your family grow. I command your finances grow. I command your ministry grow. Hallelujah. I pray for you. You hear me pray this all the time. Because I've seen what it can do in the life of a man. Where are your destiny helpers? If there is one prayer you must receive in this place listen god can use men to help a man and in one day god can bring the right people to wipe your tears lift your hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god where you have struggled and struggled with no hope of help as you lift your hands let an anointing from heaven land upon your life and call help us right now right now right now i release that anointing upon you for help for help for help for help take it receive it the anointing listen all you need in your life one person can just tell you do a b c or i know a who can do b for you and it can open you up to a whole new world one more time i pray i call them from the north the south if they are in zaria here we call them if they are in kaduna state we call them any part of nigeria receive their ministry now receive their ministry now whoever has vowed to destroy your life i'm praying oh this is judgment in the name that is above all names if there is any human entity standing i declare let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment let this night be a night of judgment 
Listen. When Pharaoh refused to allow Egypt, Israel go, God took his firstborn. Whatever must be taken from your enemy to let you go, we take it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Let me tell you the truth. There are men that hold the destinies of people low. I teach you principles of success. But I'm spiritual enough to know a man's destiny can be kept at a standstill. Whoever kept your destiny at a standstill, in the name that is above all names, I put an anointing upon you. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Go forward. I prophesy in your career. Go forward. In every area of your life. Hallelujah. Let me speak over our finances. You see what is happening around the nation. Father, we believe in the power to prosper. And we believe in favor. Ah, there is such a thing, my brother and my sister, called favor. Lift your hands. My God and my King. That anointing for favor that was on Joseph. That anointing that made five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people. Wherever you are, may that anointing come on your life right now. Kaparatata. It's coming on people. May that anointing come upon you. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. Some of us are moving, but our pace is too slow. That's the truth. We need acceleration. We are moving, but your pace is too slow. There are things you should do in two weeks, not three years. There are things you should do in one day. I'm praying for you. The Bible says, and the hand of God came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. The anointing that must come upon you, that between now and next month miracle service, what has not happened from when Koinonia started, may the God that I serve release it into your life. I command speed, 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 speed. I prophesy it, speed. Hallelujah. All those writing jam, lift your hands. It's time for you to move forward. If you are not writing, you can stand in for somebody, maybe your loved ones or whatever. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and when they were tested in all matters of wisdom, hear me, Daniel was found ten times better. That ten times better unction. As you write your jam, may the angel of wisdom cause you to pass this jam in the name of Jesus. There are people who suffer and read and sit there in front of that computer and don't know what to do. You will know what to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm led to pray for those in final year. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. We need to release you. There are things that have come up. Some of us, physically speaking, it's obvious there is trouble. Where is that God who can correct a man's mistake? I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, you will graduate this year. I said you will graduate this year. I don't know how it will happen, but you must graduate this year. Hallelujah. The secret, receive this, two more and we are done. The secret the ideas, the strategy you need for the next level of your life. I'm praying for you. Please lift your hands. There will be a strong impartation. God is releasing anointings for creativity. Some of it will come upon you. You will not know why. But when you sleep, you will see it in dreams. My God, I'm praying. I see this thing falling on at least 40 people. In the name that is above all names. That anointing for creativity. Receive it right now. 
right now right now right now an impartation an impartation an impartation an impartation inside outside inside outside take it take it take it creativity ideas i send them from the spirit concept right now right now business ideas career ideas hallelujah now i'm going to pray the last prayer breakthrough you don't know what breakthrough is some of you let me tell you what breakthrough is breakthrough is when the barrier standing between you and the next level is not lifted destroyed if it's lifted it can appear in your future please listen some of us what you need is breakthrough you don't even know the name of the situation you are in but i pray at the count of three i want everybody to just shout breakthrough as loud as you can and something remarkable will happen i'm seeing rain falling that's what i'm saying father this is the instruction you gave me as we shout hey, yeah, 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 yeah. somebody's husband husband somebody's husband is receiving breakthrough somebody's husband husband at the count of three one two three yes lord receive it receive it receive it malakata bababa breakthrough breakthrough i smash those barriers breakthrough in the name of jesus breakthrough i mark you with an anointing that anywhere they see you they will be compelled to bless you listen to what i'm saying i mark you with an unction i mark you with a mystery and i command that anywhere they see you may they bless you anywhere you enter may this anointing force men to bless you anywhere you travel to may this anointing distinguish you isaac blessed his son and said the smell of my son is like the field brothers and sisters hear me there is a fragrance that can come upon a man that will force men to bless you anyhow i don't know who must appear to bless you but I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, I mark you with a mystery that forces men to bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for leaving my head.